All right. Hello, YouTube. We're back. Woo! Hey, and Asen's here tonight. Yes, I am. We we had said at the end of it before everyone left that with the meetup between me and him in the game or characters that he had given me a way to contact him. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> we discussed uh, that when they met up, that time they met up, that uh, he gave her a way to contact him. So that way, just carve like the communicator number in the wall. <laughs> that way they don't have to meet in person every time he has to get in contact with her. Gotcha. Okay. No, he doesn't have to just... Okay. That way I He's don't have surprised. to deal with the plot of a James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways. So you're currently now on your way to the actual blockade because <coughs> you not only have uh, this Imperial agent on your ship, you've got two, two assassin droids and you've also got a crazed Jedi. No, you're with... Him? Yeah. Okay. And you've also got a crazed Jedi that you found. <coughs> oh yeah, and also a non-crazed Jedi who's blind. Who found the crazed God, Jedi. All these blind Jedi I keep <laughs> running into. Like the last one, B9 had to blow it up. So I was like, ugh. And then there was also the one that was being raised by B9. Yes. <coughs> a lot of blind Jedi in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Caleb doesn't like his Jedi to see anything with their eyes. Well, this blind Jedi wasn't my choice. It's Charlie's <laughs> character, okay? <laughs> oh, it's Charlie's character. Yeah, you got Charlie's character with you. Where's a B9 Bob when I need it? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> uh, so you're on your way. Is there any stuff you guys want to talk about? Like, you, you didn't get a chance to really get to know him when he got on your ship. He's just, okay. you, like, as soon as they got on your ship, you were like, help me find this <laughs> annoying noise. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's what's his name. Yeah, that was Revan. Revan, yeah. The time traveler, which we yeah, had like traveler. a whole big conversation about after the game was yeah. over. Yeah, time travel is really confusing. But let's not give away too much. So He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. You know, when he's not being crazed because he got blown up in the face. <laughs> B9 blew a lot of people up in the face. <laughs> okay, so... <sighs> Asen is headed to the blockade that JP's master the, set up? Yeah, it's in the Seswina Ses sector. Yeah, I told you about the agreement. All right. And what was the the blockade was for? Uh, it's basically to <laughs> fuck with the Republic. Because the Republic, okay. it's, it's, because basically the Empire has their first big win, which is their first win. And it's in an outer rim sector. That's the planet you guys met up on. It's Louis Vaughn. Mm -hmm. So now they're like, okay, we need to push this now and yeah. make things worse for the Republic. Yeah, like a deviated okay. septum. Uh, so the name of the characters is, are Sin A and B. That's the bounty, the actual PCs I'm given. Okay. Sin A and B, that's uh, uh, Kenny and Jake. Okay. Uh, Pentalimon. Pentalimon? Yeah, sure. I, there's an <laughs> I. There's an I, so I'm going to it out. Is the I silent with the Pentalimon. E? Pentalimon. Are okay, you coughing because I've been coughing? And then and Kreslia, which is Charlie. Charlie. Shikara, I think is the name yeah, for JP's funny. character, something like that. Shikara. Uh -huh. Thundercats. <laughs> and then Angel is her new master. Okay. Those are important names just because those are people you've run into. Okay. But of course Angel and Shikara are ahead of you. Because Angel They're going to get there first, what yeah. you Okay. Not by much, but enough to start setting up by the time you get there. Do I, do I um, since you role played me last time, do I like them? I played neutral because I didn't want to. Oh. I didn't want to force anything yet. Okay. I, I I figured I'd let you figure that out. Yeah. I played it as you just saw it as a deal, a business deal for now. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's all JP usually is a business deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, he'll try to use me, and I'll use him, and then kill him in the end. One of you will kill each other. Yeah, somebody dies. Uh, Anything major you want to have done? Uh, oh, so actually, what saying is you do get a call from your lieutenant. Okay. Because remember, your lieutenant was dealing with that gang war issue. <laughs> oh, okay. So he calls you, and he says, Hey, boss. Yeah. Uh, so we searched that warehouse where we were told that was their base of operations. Mm -hmm. No sign of them. Okay. Nothing. I mean, 
No boxes, no crates, not it, like nobody was here. So we either got bad information or they were warned and moved before we got there. Yeah, but I... No operation can move this quickly. <coughs> so we got lied to. Probably. And of course our only source is dead. <laughs> he just made the trouble. Because <laughs> uh, our source was the guy we killed. Oh, good. So I don't pretty much know. You don't know too much about this group yet. Okay. Other than the fact <clears throat> that they were supposedly at this warehouse and now there's a dead end. Okay. Um, Lieutenant, just send out, try to find out any information you can. Send out some, figure this out. Would you like us to have a little fun while we're at it? And he <laughs> gives a little laugh as he's cracking his knuckles. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he hangs up, assuming that the conversation's over. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess we're going to the... Uh, Seswina Sector. Seswina Sector. Mm hmm Which there is a map for underneath this map. This lovely map that it's not going to get used often because <laughs> I'm using maps. I paid a good uh, ten bucks, probably ten bucks, I can't remember how much. A long. space grid! Yeah, space! <laughs> oh, great. It's I don't know how it speckles. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, a little kind of a plant. It's got a little little horizon there. Oh, so this is a vertical this slice. Song. Like, this is layers of orbit. Yeah. Ah. How much did you pay for this one? I can't remember. I've had this map for years. So this is going to... I don't have ships. Here's my ship. List. Yeah, I have that <coughs> ship. This is going to represent the bigger fleet. Is whenever they're connected to each other like that. Okay. And then here's like a smaller, whenever they're individually and separated like that, that'll represent like one fighter, which I do have tiles for as well. So, you're coming in probably from that side when you see the, yep. Like here? Yep. Look good? Yep. So you come in at that point and that's when you see a good fleet already starting to amass. Yeah. And you can see the capital ship that you saw, um... Uh, t t uh, Angrel take JP on. I'm gonna try to start using names more. Chikar. So you saw Angrel and Chikar go on that. I'm guessing this right here is JP. Yep. Yeah, I knew it. And then that's Angrel. So. That just screams JP. <laughs> this is, uh, that character that you're partnered up with, by the way. Okay. Because that was the one that, because you and Josh were, uh, yeah, you were gonna work with Josh and that character. Mm. For the battle. Oh, you're trying to hit hit on the woman too? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna swing that way in the uh, snow. So uh so you mm -mm. approach and you hit you get a uh you're in the main room at Yeah, he's point. just been standing there ominously yeah, in the so, corner. <laughs> yeah. And, and the assassin droids are kinda just doing their thing and yeah. cleaning their weapons and everything because they know a battle's coming. Good old K pop. Uh, Revan is still, you know, off somewhere. Off to his. And, uh, Kreslia is, you know, is there as well with you guys. All the PCs are together, essentially. Gotcha. Uh, so you, you, uh, get a call. This is the hammer. Same thing, I just came that up with it. Was so good. Hammer. If I hadn't paused, it would have been... <coughs> it would... It would have been better, but the pause <laughs> opened it up for such a good punchline. Uh, can we shoot and him down? Going to. Can we just shoot him? Are you gonna? Can we just open it? fire on the hammer? I really want to put the hammer down. <laughs> you don't want to fist the hammer? <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> so many you say. Wow. The, where, who's the, the hammers where they are? One. Yeah, that's yeah. their ship. That's what I figured. Uh, so. This is Lord Angel. Uh, I assume you are the retrobrate. Yeah, ret reprobrate. Reprobrate. Yeah. Thank you, words. Thank you, helmsman. Uh, <laughs> who was who was uh, assigned to follow us? I am. All right. Well, um, set up uh, somewhere to ensure that we can keep this blockade as necessary. You know, if you see an open space, you, you can use it. I'm going to set up right here. All right. 
<laughs> Just so you're facing the direction that, you know, everybody oh, else okay. is. Yeah. Uniform. <laughs> Just fire. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fire at your own. <laughs> you're gonna fire at one of the tiny the little Sith fires. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> They're gonna fire. Oh. Oops, sorry, they flew got in the way. So what are you up to? I don't remember what I was doing. So last day. time you gave that the new commander of Havoc. Man? What? What? So last time you gave the new commander of Havoc Squad some uh, medicine for his uh, hangover. <laughs> oh, some medicine, huh? Because he had, oh, had promotion by <laughs> promotion via death. <laughs> yeah. You know, usually you think that only happens when you're in the Imperial Army, but apparently also in the Republic it happens. <laughs> Except, you, uh, at least in the Republic Army, it's not because your own higher-ups killed the higher-ups. It's because enemy soldiers killed your higher-ups. Although, which one's worse? Who knows? Uh, dead's yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, dead is dead. Exactly. Anyways, uh, you gave him medicine, and also he was... Uh, you were assigned to work with Josh and... Um, what's her name? Uh no, uh, Wraith. You were working with Wraith. Okay, which was the one that's uh, the... A member of Havoc Squad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then... Oh, they're mad. Not all of them. And then... Oh, no, sorry. Wraith and Gearbox were given to... To, uh... Mm -hmm. uh Bartimus. Sorry. You were the only one that was assigned to... Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, and what did his character? Well, they they walked. He walked off with uh, the other Jedi. Okay. So that's where we left off. So, so you can start. So you know they're on their way to the blockade. Hmm. So he's already at the blockade. Yeah. Well, you don't know that. No, I'm saying though, out of game, he's already. Yes. There. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he just got there. You guys will get there like pretty soon. Uh, Barnabas didn't even want to play over on Discord. No, he's the uh, family stuff. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's see. <coughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm trying to think of what to do that won't raise suspicion. Oh, well, poisoning people is not the way to go. <laughs> uh, well, good thing she hasn't poisoned anybody yet. Oh, I thought she slipped him some medicine. No, no, no. no actual she, medicine. No, that was oh, actual oh, that was hangover fibra. medicine. I got you. No, that was actual medicine for That was more hangover. like your average migraine. Advil. Yeah. 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 Tylenol. Yeah, whatever <coughs> Whatever you want to have. <coughs> hey, at least you didn't give what uh, Heather Chandler got when she had a, had a hangover. Oh my goodness. Drano. Yep, Drano. Drano. You ever seen Heather's? It's both a musical and an 80s movie. Yeah. Both are great. Uh, one of them get it's basically Mean Girls, but with murder. And one of them dies. One of them gives them Drano. One of them dies from Drano. Wow. And then there's a few more deaths. Yeah, then there's a few more deaths. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna try to sneak off? Yeah, I was just gonna go off by myself if no one is around. Is anyone around me? Uh, well, I mean, technically a lot of people are around you, but they're all like doing their own things. Everybody. So that's what I was going to do, was go off and do my own thing. Oh, okay, so you're just trying to get ready for the battle. Yeah, the the battle. Well, it's going to be an actual battle, but for you it's... I don't know what you're going to end up doing. That's going to be interesting. Uh, so... And plus I don't, there's I don't a, know what to do since the well, guy that's right above me isn't playing. He's above you. Well, he's, he's busy getting the meeting. Done. No, I'm talking about above me. It's being actually above me, not above oh, you me. Mean like the public. Keeper? Oh, you mean the keeper? I play the keeper. Uh, he's an NPC. <laughs> <coughs> or did you mean JP? JP, yeah. Oh, okay. Since he's not playing, I'm like, who do I report to? Well, you can report to him. You can still <laughs> report to JP, because I can roleplay JP. I have a great pretty, JP impression. Pretty easy to do. <laughs> role play JP. I mean, you've heard my JP impression. It's uh, always it's, spot on. Yeah, it is. It's good. <laughs> we don't even need him at this point. <laughs> we love you still, JP. No, we don't. Don't let him lie. <laughs> Get off of this YouTube channel, damn you. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. That's a bit. <laughs> now I know what I am going to have to cut. You're going to have to cut that? Yeah. Oh, everybody else is going to think I'm talking to them, not JP. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I could just cut out the name and make you think <laughs> that you're mad at you two. I do. Okay, so. So I think that. Well, I mean, you could be doing whatever because you still have your, you, you're still a spy within the Republic. So. I'd be in for a second. I'm a spy like him, but no one knows I'm for yeah, she's Imperial. A, yeah, she's she's a sleeper agent. <laughs> Ah. Sleeper agent, guy that goes and deals with problems. Yeah. Sleeper agent, sniper. Yeah. Or I guess sleeper agent and the fixer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just go to the kill car. Well, yeah, he's the fixer. <laughs> that's a term for what, I mean, that's an actual term for what you do well, in the game. Well, You've I'm been blacklisted <laughs> permanently. <laughs> Actually, that's an actual rank in the ISB, so you probably are a fixer. <laughs> well, I'm a... Because no that's like a code name that they uh, give, and so you're probably a fixer, actually. Since no one's noticing me, I'm going to go off and report... Okay. ...on what's happened so far. Sounds good. And I'm also going to go and do my own thing, both. Uh, okay, well, hold on. Just I'm relax have to some... and do that. So, since you're stealthing out... Well, I wasn't going to stealth out because I was going to go and do my own thing, too. Okay, so you're just naturally walking out. Yeah, I'm just naturally walking uh, out. Oh, because I thought you were going to do my own use, thing. Because you, you mentioned reporting. Oh. Yeah, I, I was going to do both. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, in that case. I was going to do my own thing and do that. That way I have something that way if someone says, Hey, where'd you go? I was going to say, Oh, I went to do my own thing. Yeah. See? Cover up. Yep, so let's see. Uh, so I don't even have to stealth thought of there. I usually do perceptions for that stuff, right? Whenever somebody's looking out for something. Uh huh. Oh, he doesn't even have that great you know, to begin with, but. Mm -hmm. he, it runs off of cunning. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, it's just straight. It's just their oh, straight so, cunning. Yeah, he's got the same. Yeah, the only thing that they're actually ranked in is uh, ranged heavy vigilance in melee. Oh, okay, it just tells you which one they. Yeah, it, it just gives me the ones that are important, the and then they'll put like a number next to it if it's a high, if it's more than one rank. Oh, okay. So you, they just have one. Yep, and then talents, non <laughs> abilities. No talent. He has some abilities though. Yeah. And then that's it there. And then usually the equipment doesn't list money, but I can get an arbitrary <coughs> number. Keep gold or something. If I feel like yeah. if I feel like they Oops, carry sorry. it, that's the thing. Because like sometimes they don't carry it. Like last week. There was no money on the guards because yeah. they're straight up military. Usually, most of their money's probably going right back into. I did take everything. No, they, uh, else. Did take their grenades. They had a lot of grenades. Yeah. They spend it at those special places. <coughs> Let's see. So yeah, they did have a which I own. Kind of grenades. Can you uh, give me run uh, roll a purple? A purple. Yep, because. I'm having it because technically they're not paying attention. Okay. Uh, and then that's probably yeah. That's roll your since you're just walking away. Roll a green. Well, yeah. You know what? Roll two green because you're just walking. Roll them separate. You, no, roll them together. It's fine. Roll them together. Yeah, because the purple and the green will react to each other. Remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. So roll good and bad at the same time. Yep. So what do we got? We got uh, two successes. Oh wow! Yep. Why well, is that one a? Hold on, I can't see. There. Okay. Okay. And what was? Nothing? What's that one though? That's the hit, one that matters. Hit advantage. Oh really? Hit oh. advantage. Wow. Yeah. So okay. So or, yeah. Or you know disadvantage. Whoa. One of them is so you caught up with Jeffrey for a while. Yeah, and then I was catching up with him. So yeah. Um, so you you walk off and you notice that people are like people are looking like they normally would like whenever they see mm -hmm. somebody walking because you know. When you're walking, sometimes you'll catch somebody walking by you in their per in your peripheral, and you'll look. They naturally. see you, but they don't give a shit. Yeah, it's just a natural mm. perception. That's why I also have that perception check because I was just there. <coughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, you just go into. Are you going to like a? Everybody kind of got assigned their own rooms on the ship for now. So, well, you're in the military barracks with a lot of people. So. But there is a private, like, call room if you need to use it. Yeah, I'm assuming you're heading there. Alright. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna go and contact um person that's right above me, which which isn't here. Which uh, you're contacting uh, uh the Chikar. JP. Yeah. I'm trying to use the character names more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm contacting him. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so are we in space? Are yeah. Honey? Yeah, you're in your ships. Okay. Yeah. We're not all just socializing and floating out there in our space suits? No. Uh, so, uh, Chikara answers, and you see behind her this. I've got the picture. Hold on. There's a lot going on. So, you see this guy behind her. Okay, and who is he? Damn, that's not somebody no, I, I want to stay behind. <laughs> so, no, what no, side no, is he on and who is he? So, he's behind Shakar. No, 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 right. I'm saying what side is well, in. Oh, he's the Empire. He's the Empire. Uh, you actually know by reputation that this is uh, Lord Angrel, and he's one of the higher up Sith. Okay. And you can kind of. So, because you know Malgus died. You can kind of put two and two together that Angrel is now Chikara's new master. Mm-hmm. Mm. Although, actually, the Republic doesn't know that Malgus died yet, I don't think. So, actually, you don't know that. So, you just know that there's a big Sith Lord guy, and you're wondering what happened to Malgus. All right. So, uh, can, uh, um, Would you like me to role play it? I'm, I'm playing as Chikara right now. Okay. Uh... Uh, she looks over her shoulder at an angle. Uh, report? Um, there is a blockade and we are heading towards it at the moment. And before she can speak up, Angrel says, Well, of course there's a blockade. I blockade. <laughs> so you're coming here. It. The Republic is on their way here. Yes. Republic is. Alright. Chakar, go prepare. For battle. Uh, to, to, but master, is there a plan? I said go! <laughs> is there a plan? Doesn't matter, get ready. <laughs> uh, Angrel is. The plan is for you to get ready! <laughs> <laughs> you will know the plan when the time comes. Whoa. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, and, I'm guessing that's the conversation then. And then, uh -huh. um, just gonna. Sit in there to be alone and like clean my guns and stuff like that. Okay, so you're just getting ready. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting ready after that. So meanwhile, in the strategy room, <coughs> we're getting ready. In the room where it happened. Oh, oh! <laughs> no one else was in the room That's when it happened. Sweet, sweet nectar. Is that canonical? <laughs> <laughs> or are we just joking? I'm joking. I'm doing a Hamilton reference. We're getting ready for a battle. I'm surprised you didn't catch it when I said I it. I caught it, but... The fact uh, I acknowledged what it was. Well, it fits, but it doesn't. Yeah. Well, no one else was in the room when it happened. <laughs> it's just them two. I would be surprised if... Nobody's going to know how the sausage gets made. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm just saying the lyrics to the song, man. <laughs> Uh, double on the first process is to cut it up. <laughs> that's I hope, a sharp I hope that's, not like, I hope that's not what happens to. Then you gotta grind it. That takes a oh, you got my very cord. sharp lifter. You got my cord. I gotta make sure oh, before my character dies doing something stupid, I have another dust along the way. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> what now? <laughs> so, anyways, uh. So the door shut be behind you, too. <laughs> Oh, snap. You decide what's happening, let's move on. <laughs> no, he's telling me. playing this. Well, no. Are you going to at least, are you going to make a move then? Oh, we did all that last episode. No, no, no. <laughs> I have been in great detail. So you do, you do think, so you, <laughs> but I'm saying in this scenario, do you want something to happen? Hell yes. Okay. Then <laughs> off screen, yes, something happens. Oh, it snap. It was that easy. Holy shit, I didn't even have to roll for persuasion. Well, I mean, you already... <laughs> you rolled all the way across the table. You made it, so... Honey, honey, see right oh, there. Oh. 14. So you barely managed What's to talk her into taking off her bra. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I assume that stuff happens because I mean, you already were flirting with her and I was working last session. So. DC you said she was lowered. suffering the loss of somebody. Now I feel like I've just used this imaginary. Or she thing. used you. Welcome to Hordam. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hordam. Hey. <laughs> or she used you. All right, I'll you'll never use. know. No, that's fine. Somebody used. Brony's a young and up and coming Jedi who gives a fuck about nothing. And she's a young and up and coming Jedi who also. Oh, but she had to Perfect. give at least one fuck. <laughs> Well, that, that'll be our thing. We'll just get together. And she came in the job. <laughs> also, you have, your character has no idea that that's what happened, though, that she was in love with somebody. Okay, so canonically, I am in love with this girl, and she does not return the feeling. <laughs> just the pleasure. I guess we can find so out. So, my yeah. character's objective in life is now to continue to impress her. <laughs> now that you've had one chance. I have made Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please kill her? I want to see him drown down the <laughs> How, gr- how much can I, can I at least get the baby out of her first? Oh, yeah, Jeez. Yeah. That'll make it even Okay, worse. so what's next? Okay. <laughs> well, nine months from now. Let's play this game. Yeah, so now you're... Actu- so now she's actually just discussing strategy with you as she's getting her clothes back on. Mm. Okay. So, uh, we should probably discuss the actual Ooh, plan. What? She has to brush off her tits? What the hell were they doing? She's putting, putting the clothes back on. <laughs> well, you're doing this. So it's like yeah, she straightened out her oh, oh. outfit. Oh, get a little <laughs> stain on. Like, you know, putting it on and then straightening it out. I got you. Oh, okay. Okay. Just weird. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Do you have to straighten yours out when you put on your clothes? Depends on what it is. Or just, like, in general. Sometimes. Like, See, I'm not crazy. Not ask I'm not crazy. This I had to. I'm not crazy. If we're if we're one of these outfits, like five of them, yes, I do have to straighten them. Do you have five outfits on? No, I'm saying of these. I don't have them on. I have five of Anyways, these. Anyways, enough no. of the oh. post quitus conversation. Well, oh, yeah, continue. continue. <laughs> well, I'm saying we should probably discuss the actual strategy. Right. That's what I thought we were doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the battle. Right. <laughs> uh, got you Shit, job. who's the voice for this character again? Uh, Christopher Walken. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to, like, listen to his voice before I do it, or it's going to be... You know what? We're going for as bad as possible. More cowbell. <laughs> yeah. Um, you want to be a... You want to be a man, man, come... <laughs> I don't know, that sounds more like the Mafia guy. Oh, that could be him from True Romance. He was in True Romance as a Mafia guy. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't want to be Christopher Walken anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was never... Retcon, I never had a Christopher Walken voice. <laughs> but you also weren't... We just lost you 100 also, subscribers. Yeah. You also weren't Cheech from Cheech and Chong, though. That's Bartimus' character. Is right. it really? I don't know, man. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he's basically cheap. So oh, combined. That's right, because I'm making so much money off him right now. <laughs> well, the business is good. <laughs> Anyways. So at this point, the other... The actual Jedi Masters... Yeah, we in. unlock the door. Okay. And, uh... Oh, there's a Ben Zalo walks in. That's a, the Charlie's Master. Well, former Master. Hey, honey. You gonna join us? I don't know these characters. Uh, Ben is like a Jedi Master. He's part of the council that sent you on these missions to begin with. Okay. He kind of looks like a battle-hardened, like, he's more of a warrior type. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let's see, does, is your Master there? No. Uh, so he walks in and he says, alright, uh, we need to strike back hard. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of like the mess that is the table. I'm like reorganizing it. <laughs> and he uh, flips on the holograms to see that everything is out of place in the holograms. Even the holograms got messed up. You with the hologram. Yes. <laughs> Did I just do a swishing motion <laughs> through all the holograms on the floor? <laughs> That's so dumb. 
Okay. It wasn't even on. Mm. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm starting to see a trend here. Josh has had a baby in almost every episode. <laughs> Not every episode, but every season. Almost Adventure? every season. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Some of them in spite of my attempts. So yeah. Let's see. Season... Well, season one, we didn't know. Season one, he like, had... I didn't know about yeah. that. Yeah. Was out of, that was you guys, background. You guys made those. Season two... Who did he... We no. didn't have one in season two, but now he's Bango Bongo did not have I was about to say... Kids. Yeah, but season three, now he's having one. Yeah. I was about to say, season two, he died of stupidity. Bango More than Bongo... Once, actually, I think. How does... Okay, how does... Uh, what are they called again? The race? The Gungans? The Gung... I don't know if Gungans, like, procreate like frogs. I'll just say that Bango Bongo never found a nest with which to inseminate. <laughs> <laughs> or he never could when he found one. Oh, poor Bingo Bongo. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking too hard on this. World well, building, man. Or not hard enough. Oh. God damn it. Oh. It's world building. Oh, so, God, my job is so much simpler. <laughs> Get yours, I guess. So anyway, he, he finally <laughs> sets everything straight and says, We're expecting the blockade to look kind of like this, and he shows, like, literally exactly this. Okay, and what? So that's all the baddies. Yeah. And then there's me and my ship, and we're just like. You're not even there yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. why are you gonna call me a baddie, man? I'm not a baddie. He's You're at the cool. front of the pillar that yeah, is the enemy is forces. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's actually got an actual ship to represent. I thought him. you were that robot guy. No, no, no. That's actually a uh, captain. Uh. So, anyways, that's uh, that's the people they don't care about. They're gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, those are the NPCs. <laughs> uh, so, he finally sets it up and says, So, uh, Satil, you have your battle meditation, which could come in handy. Yes, uh, should, so does that mean I should remain on the ship then? Yes, uh, you're going to be leading our fighters. I'll see it done. Are you going more for like a Kirk slash Picard combo? Um... Let's do a Picard, because I'm supposed to be diplomatic. Yeah. And my style is defensive. Kirk is diplomatic with his guns. Dick. <laughs> well, I was going to go for that first, but yeah, I changed my mind. Dick. What's the fastest way to ruin relations with these alien indigenous people? <laughs> also, let's... So not dick in them. As, as much as I love Picard... Also, let's find the short-term solution and never deal with the problem until it bites us in the butt. <clears throat> Con. Much as I love Picard, I'm spiritually a Kirk. Yeah. Kirk is just not a good captain. No. <laughs> Anyways, now that we've had Star Trek into our Star Wars, <laughs> we've mixed the peanut butter into the Make it into the show chocolate. number two. So he uh, says, "All right, well then, you can pick who is assigned to you. I I would suggest Lily as one of the operatives." from Havoc Squadron to join. Insight. <laughs> yeah, you don't know it. <laughs> what are you... A six. <laughs> from what you can tell, he is sincere. <laughs> well... I know. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to any of this. Of course I'll you take are. the traitor. <laughs> you don't know she's I a know. Traitor. <laughs> but I know that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you want metagaming, Jesse? No. He's joking. I'm actually it. taking it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's actually really good about that stuff. Actually, all of you are, even though you guys joke about JP and stuff. JP's pretty good about it, too. Yeah. What is that? Prepare your battle brigade. Probably we shall that. meet these foes in space. He was trying to like... The blasters! The boo! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I would suggest start preparing whoever you're going to take with you. <coughs> we should be arriving within an hour. Okay. So, uh, so I'm looking at like a battle grid, and I see the Imperial forces. Yeah, you can like these are what. What are my is. forces? Uh, so. So, I take your... What's your squad oh. called again? Havoc. Yeah, I Havoc. take your Havoc squad, and I raise you a Death Star of our own. <laughs> Four destroyers. Uh, all the dudes. If I gotta lead this fight, we're gonna win. Seems to be a limit. Also, uh, can you pick which one of these guys were with your lieutenant versus which ones are with you? Because oh, sure. okay. those are your... 
All of these? Those are all the guys these that are you, all my little. Yeah, just, remember you minions? I mean, you picked out on night one. Remember? I did, but I don't. That's remember what thirteen who trillion of influence looks like. Amazing. I think I only had like five or six people with me, and the rest were with him. Okay. Uh, and then here's the teal, but she's gonna be on the ship. <coughs> Um, Where is she going to be? She's going to be on the big ship, so she's probably not going to be in the battle. So she's she's going to be busy in the back, yeah, because yeah, she's going to be meditating. The rear with the cheer. Here's Venzalo's droid. Which would be where? Uh, with Ven. Uh, so we're Which assuming that every unit probably in the back depicts now. a similar ship, or are they all different? Uh, so basically, oh. they, oh. Thanks. they all have like Sith-type fighters. <laughs> Which, just pretend that that is a Tie Fighter blockade. Those are all Tie Fighters. Pretend they're not Tie Fighters. Pretend they're a different <laughs> model ship because Tie Fighters don't exist yet. Okay, so no. so Tie Fighter, not Tie Fighters. Every yeah. one of those people is a Tie Fighter. Yes, and you've got and the all four, the same I, ships, the four yeah. Tie Fighter icons are to also Tie Fighters. Yep, and we are what also fighter. Yeah, you're all fighter. Yeah, you got fighter ships. <laughs> okay, I want to take a carrier with us. Okay, with a anti fighter. <laughs> weaponry. Okay, so you're gonna have to because we have to launch forthwith from some ship. Yeah, the only one that's not a fighter is hey. this one. Obviously, this is the the capital. What are you trying to do? They have a capital ship. I want to dread not. These are with the lieutenant. <laughs> you're in a capital ship <laughs> currently. We are the dreadnoughts. But obviously, fighters have to be you know in the front. Uh, Do I have any fighter craft the skills, reason you needed to pick or should I stay on the capital ship? Well. Okay. Do I have any fighter skills, or should I just stay on the capital? Uh, directing. Let's see. Directing the flow and ebb of battle. Do you have? Yeah, decent gunnery skill. I mean, you can. You have two green, which is okay. Green. I will go to the command deck. And well, gunnery is what you would use in the fighter. Is like in any. <laughs> I was gonna say I will go to the command deck and use my gunnery skills uh, to uh, direct um, our battery defenses. Of course, she kept the hot chick. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. So, like, I'll be on our capital ship, okay. and I'll run gunnery to battery defenses. Okay. So to you're shoot all the shit around us. Okay. So, are you actually gonna command havoc squad from there? She can command her Havoc Squad from wherever she wants. I'm on the capital ship operating the gun base. Okay. Well, Jack Carter is going to be in command of Havoc because okay. he's obviously the highest in command for that side of things. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's come back to the Imperial Senate. I'm going change. to be uh, tracking all of our ships and collecting data afterwards to find okay. post-battle post statistics and stuff. Okay. I am and an analyst, after all. And Vin says... Um, we should also keep an eye out for any signs of what happened to my uh, apprentice. I have not felt her death, but she has not gotten into contact with me, and I worry that she might be dead because of that. So, Vin tells you that. Me? Yeah. Okay, we're looking for an apprentice? Yeah. In this battle? Well, any signs of what happened. I'm sorry, who are we talking about again? Charlie's character. The sea's color yes. Jedi. Okay. <coughs> Lost his apprentice? The, uh, she, that is the apprentice. Charlie is the apprentice. Oh, okay. So I'm talking to his commander? His master. The commander says we're looking for that player. Okay, yes. I follow him. Because he, he believes that Charlie is dead because Charlie did not answer him. I mean, obviously that's battle. not something I can look into, so just if I come by information, <coughs> I'll send it along. Yeah. Side quest. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Alright, so let's cut back to... Because you guys have... I mean, unless you've got any extra planning you want to do right now. Nope. In summary, got laid, made a plan, got on the ship. Yep. That's it. Alright. So then... Josh is having a good game. Yeah. Hey, it is. Yeah, I got on my level. <laughs> what do you want to do I'm now that here. you're getting everything set up? Do you want to kind of send those guys out now? Uh, strategize yeah. them? Are they going to be... They're going to be in fighters as well. Fighters. You can also have some of them just be on the guns on the Star Forge. Okay, let's put... Uh, Whichever ones are going to just be on the Star Forge, don't put on the map, obviously. Okay. So, hot chick, can't let her die. <laughs> <laughs> this chick, can't let her die. 
This chick's uh, Kevin. Uh, I'm not too worried about Kevin, so we'll use that. This is me, of course. Yeah. And, uh. Let's see, yeah, that's what it always sounds like. Uh. I have an idea. Okay. It's gonna sound real stupid. But... Well, no idea is stupid until you say it. Uh. Say it again. Okay. I'm gonna say it Wait, so I had to say my plan out loud when she gets out? Oh, never mind. Well, but it's not against you guys, really. <laughs> uh, on the main ship, where? Good luck to them. I mean, they'll find him, her, but good luck in the sense of where she'll be. <laughs> they'll find you if he's there. They probably will. That's all. Okay, do you need them alive? <laughs> <laughs> Better question. Uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. Not really. The disposable menu number 348. Uh, so are you, are you going to assign those yes. four out now somewhere? Yes. Yes. They're they're out. And then just for... <coughs> for visual sake. Yeah. And whose sake is he doing his thing? Well, yeah. For now, they're going to probably... probably wouldn't be this big, yeah. huge... No. Oh, it'd be yeah, like spread do, out. Let's do cat chick. That way you know she's over there. Yeah, that's probably the stealthiest person yeah. anyways. Yeah, yeah, spread them out a little bit, yeah. Yeah, make them, kind of put them in a grid where it makes sense. Yeah, let's do like, kind of like that. Yeah. Main ship. Protecting you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You I mean, don't care. You don't, I'm the main interest here. You don't care if the blockade gets... Yeah, no, that, they can screw them up. I don't care. <laughs> you just want to live. You're only here to make good on your end of the bargain. Yeah. Anyway, that person is... Only trying to find JP's character. Yeah. To get and, him the communicator. And, and also, you know, because of Ven having that droid, you know that Ven is looking for Charlie's character. Oh. Oh, money. At this point, Revan comes back up and he's like, Oh, I feel better now. Uh, so, what have <laughs> I missed? Where are we at? Uh, we're here at the blockade. <coughs> the blockade? Mm hmm. <coughs> The Empire's doing a blockade to stop the Republic hmm. from whatever. I don't know. Let's see. He starts to look at your maps to see where you're, exactly you're located. And he's like, huh, says we know. I can see the value in capturing this and making sure the Republic is at least annoyed. Mm -hmm. um, where was the first battle at? Uh, out of game, it was uh, yeah. uh, Slewis Vaughn. Slewis Vaughn, okay. That of me. <laughs> uh... Huh. And he kind of examines that more and he's like, So far the Empire has good strategy going for the outer. Kind of similar to a lot of strategies when an unknown force approaches. Mm -hmm. Take the outer rim planets first and then... I'm out of game. Would they... Would my information scroll down to them? Uh, no, because JP wouldn't have the time to talk to Okay. Because his master's watching him like a hawk. Okay. Like a hawk. Because one of the things <coughs> about uh, Angrel is he's like, I'm going to be way tougher on you than Malgus ever was. Mm -hmm. yeah, he bitch slapped him and embarrassed yeah. him in front of a sea balloon. Well, yeah, he tore Yeah, because you saw, you saw him. My yeah, I told you that you watched as he charged lightning at him twice. I could see Ace and just sitting there and be like, What's going <laughs> on? Did Pentelay uh, Mung get any orders? Uh. You're basically just kind of doing whatever your thing is. You have your troops still with right. you, so... Oh, yeah, you have some of his... Like, a couple of his soldiers on there. Yeah. Right so... Don't you want to just get away from those people and work for me? I've got real monies. Hey, good. Uh, speaking of, uh, so this is the exchange? <laughs> yes. Uh, I could, I could tell from the design. Mm hmm Uh... I have some ideas. Does he have any idea who made the exchange with No, but because okay. of the 300 year gap. Okay. He, he knows of the exchange from before the 300 year gap, which was always a crime, criminal organization. Right. So he, he knows at least of the ideas behind the, the exchange. He doesn't know why it's grown to the size you have yet. Okay. He, obviously, he would have just assumed somebody powerful came in and yeah. reorganized everything. So I have some ideas for how I can uh, make you something profitable. Yes? If you're willing to help me, I would like to show you a map I've been studying. Priceless. Really? Yes, it would have to be after this battle, of course. I assume that 
I couldn't take you away from this quite yet. Oh no, no, money will always take me away. Are you okay with joining us in such a venture? You guys are gonna like try to like. So They're gonna our ditch the battle. Fighting, they're gonna like go in and try to like sl pick everybody off and take all the loot. No, we're <laughs> probably gonna straight up leave. Yeah, they're, they're probably gonna ditch the battle. <laughs> oh, well, which damn, means you might win. That, dealing with a criminal organization. Yeah, which means you have way better chances. Yeah, because at that but point, that. at that point, almost nobody I feel like would be super protected other than JP. Yeah, only because I don't kill PCs when the player's not there, mm -hmm. unless they mm -hmm. give me permission beforehand, like with. The Colton and JP <laughs> He He signs, what can you offer me in exchange? What if I could offer immortality? I, well, I already have that. That might be a sweet deal for you. What do you mean you have immortality? I'm an android. Oh. And he kind of starts to like examine <laughs> He's you. He's like, let <laughs> me touch you. <laughs> like, he doesn't touch you, obviously, because he knows right. that. If he did, then any deal that he'd be negotiating for would... Mm -hmm. But he is kind of looking you over, kind of yes. examining now that he has this information, because obviously androids aren't a thing that were yeah, yeah, yeah. during this. Exactly. He yeah. signs, all right, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, so he pulls out this map, like an actual map. So something rare in the Star Wars universe, actual mm -hmm. paper map. And he pulls it out and he says, well, I found this. I, I've been... I was studying your archives and found this. In my archives? Yes. My old master was full of secrets, it looks like. Uh, so there's a legend of someone who found immortality <laughs> via a, sorry, the pool of knowledge and the font of power. Mm -hmm. And we've never heard of this? Uh, Medigan. Medigan. Yeah, unless you're very, like, force... Like, unless you know a lot about the Force, you're not gonna... Okay, I'm an android, I don't know shit about the Force. Yeah. I don't think... <laughs> yeah, you, you're just a grunt, essentially. I'm just a dude with a lot of weapons. <laughs> yeah. So, Charlie's probably the only one that could potentially know, but right. since he's not here, I'm not... I'm gonna have him kind of in the background, kind of listening in still, though. Yeah, I'm gonna use him. Uh, so Revan's like, the last known location of anything about it is the mall. Mm -hmm. And that, that out of game you guys wouldn't know about. That's, uh, well, at least you would. You wouldn't because this is an unknown sector of space for you. The whole Republic space is new to you. You're from the Empire. So the mall is like this dangerous location. Uh, did you see Solo? Mm -mm. Okay, you didn't see Han yet? Okay. Uh, it's basically this uh, dangerous area that has black holes, uh, unknown creatures. It's, it's a dangerous area. Yeah, gotcha. No, I'm an uncultured swine. That's, That's all right. Well, so, that was just for you. Yeah. So, <laughs> he uh, so he kind of gives points out and is like, so from what I can tell, if it looks like we'd have to enter this part of the mall <clears throat> sector. Now, of course, that is a risk, mm -hmm. being the mall. Uh, the mall is this dangerous. He kind of explains it to you. Uh, uh, there's a lot of black holes. Why didn't you say this part first? <laughs> you wouldn't have agreed. Fair point. But I wouldn't have given you this information until you agreed. So, the thing that makes it worthwhile for you, though, is obviously if we find this source of immortality, who's to say we can't profit from it? I'm game. Alright. So when should we... Oh, right now. I'll bring everybody back in the ship. He looks out and he's like, do you really care about those people? Hire more people. Yeah, because I say the less people around, the more profit for all of us. I like the way you think. You remind me of my old master. <laughs> uh, I think you should. Uh, we should share some stories about that sometime. I oh, like I don't think you would enjoy them. If, I, if I'm very similar to him, I feel like I would. Oh, uh, well. I'll just give you a hint. You ever seen a rolling bomb kind of fly towards your face? Yes. Mm. I love the music, by the way. It's going that perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're similar. Well, if you're trying to tell me... That he didn't die when he blew up in your face? Right. You're gonna have to go back to my quarters again? <laughs> He's dead now. Oh. 
Yeah, no, he's, he did. We, it's unfortunate that I was not the one who got to do it. Oh, uh, well, you'd feel proud. He blew up other people. <laughs> at least they, at least you lived through it and they all died, so. Yeah, and the lame on, like, kind of makes the hand motion. If I might have to kill a lot of people to do this. Do what? Because, uh, his Technically job. you're deserting, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Oh, it's fine. You be with us. You're protected. I mean... Yeah, because technically you're deserving, and you're also forcing other troopers to desert as well. Oh, yes. I mean, I There's our I, extra stock! I mean, I guess I could, like, go and tell them, hey, you guys need to leave now. But I don't think that would be a good idea. Yeah, I Like, I could go and order them to join the fight. You could. You could set them up now. That way they're already out there. Yeah, he'll do that so that he's, like, yeah. not, like, charged with... Two different things. Oh no, if you bring them with you though, they were going down with you. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> he said, oh, great. <laughs> you created an army of mercs, essentially. And yeah, it's, I mean. Yeah, I pay a lot of money for that kind of stuff. I mean, essentially, in the universe, you'd be similar to Mandalorians, except if the Mandalorians were part of a military and then left that military. <laughs> it was just like, like a <laughs> Yeah, because you're basically mil. Think of, like, Black Ops groups. Oh, okay. It'd be kind of like that, except if they went rogue. Yeah, let's just... I guess that's fine. Take some manpower. Okay. So are you going to warn any of them to leave, or...? I, I'll give them the option. You can stay, or you can all leave. But you're not going to explain why. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, stay late. Do you want to fight, or do you just want to get off? Okay, well, <laughs> let me see how many actually stay with you. Because he's... I'm like, eh, might as well give him an option. That way you know who's actually loyal and who isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a very good point. Okay. This isn't my first time leading an army of mercenaries. <laughs> so about 83% of them stay with you. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, so that's good. So you'd lose, like, maybe, like, one or two guys <laughs> who are like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm they're like, part of this. that's a weird question to ask right now. <laughs> we better get out while the kitten's good. <laughs> we work for Angrel, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen that guy. He's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a zombie had sex with another uglier zombie. <laughs> but yeah. Isn't that the guy uh, I'm making that's... a Deadpool reference, yeah. Um... Very well. You've made your choice. Only instead of avocados, it's zombies. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy is nice. He doesn't kill the men who immediately just... <laughs> <laughs> If it was Malgus, they all probably would have stayed with you because they would have been like, oh, Malgus. Oh, he don't care. He let his apprentice do all the work. <laughs> he was a lazy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then tried to steal the credit, which is what killed him. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh. Yeah, that's why JP killed him. <laughs> oh, JP killed him. JP killed Malgus, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Things are looking up. <laughs> JP dug his and own grave, technically, in this one. Yeah, that's why That's why he has a worse master now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I like how you reined in JP and put him under somebody tougher, but now it's like... It oh, makes sense. He did it to himself. <laughs> he deserves it. Exactly. It's karma. It's karma. Karma's a bitch. Yes. Karma is. Now I'm trying to... There was, she's kin to Constance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. In no way am I related to a Buddhist goddess. <laughs> well, you get a point. Yeah. All right. So I can't just, look you should, you like the So Buddhist all of a sudden. So are you just prepping for hyperspace then? <laughs> okay. So all of a sudden. <laughs> Boom. That's all that the, the rest of them see. And a, after, immediately after that boop, boop, the Republic comes in. Nice, I booped right at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> we did all the boops. Abandoning teammates. Oh. How could you? And what's funny is I You'll left them fine. there. you I left that part. I knew she was going to die, but I left them there. I sent her to her death just to give JP a chip. <laughs> So yeah, as soon as Jeff leaves, that's when the Repul you guys show up. Mm. <coughs> so they're just kind of caught with their pants down. <laughs> yeah, so like, all they saw was JP, uh, Jeff here one moment. 
<laughs> and then it was just his ship that left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just one it's ship. It's not like a significant amount of forces left. But uh, now, like, well, no. actually, a lot of people were on that ship, though. Yeah, a lot they of lost <coughs> technically two Jedi, although they only knew about one. They lost two assassin droids, and they lost a good ninety-eight percent of actual military <laughs> force. Fuck you, the profit's mine now. <laughs> I love it. I didn't like this blockade. Actually, anymore. probably about 50%, because yeah. he, he made yeah, up about yeah. 50% of it. <coughs> but yeah. So yeah, they lost a good chunk of people in that one boop. <laughs> one good boop. And then another boop was the bad boop. <laughs> for them. Well, the good boop. Good boop for you guys. The good boop. Yeah. The goods booped into the bad. Yep. It's alright. They had terrible formations anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they so what's good. great is... The whole Revan thing is a side quest, and you're just going for it. <laughs> Straight for it, yeah. We're just like, the. Nah. <laughs> Revan said money? I'm in. I'm <laughs> game. Is it immortality? <laughs> Why not? I've got like a couple of years now. <laughs> and you just, you just probably saved yourself an extra few years by not being part of a battle. Right? <laughs> so you guys approached. I had an idea. Maybe 350? And to lay money. Is that like he would go and he would try to send a message to me, he, uh, Meg for you, Meg, mm -hmm. and it would be like, Hey, an interesting deal going on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna you want her. it, you're asking her if she wants it, you're gonna let her in on it. I'm going to ask her, so you want in on the sweet deal, yeah. So he's he's telling you this. So basically, he tells you about the whole immortality thing. So, do I, question is, is do I know the background of this guy? Uh, you know he's the guy that shot you. <laughs> Wait, who shot her? No, 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 I'm saying not you. Revan? The, the Jedi. Revan? Yeah, do I know? Uh, Revan was not taught in Sith schools, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I shot you. But join me, maybe. <laughs> To be fair, it was only a stun shot, my yeah. original. Yeah, it was a stun yeah. shot. But yeah. Just stunned me. <laughs> but yeah, you don't really know much about Revan as a character because the Imperials wouldn't have really studied a lot of Republic history. He's part of Republic history, really. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know nothing. A, so he, everything. He's viewed as a Republic hero. <laughs> yeah. It, it, he would have became a villain if he had not time traveled. Yeah, because he would have been what Malak was, and then he would have been a hero again, and then because basically the story Malak. So has I don't know the background again. of yeah. the Imperial Overlord. Oh, hmm? uh, oh, you just know what? He, oh, you don't know about that thing we talked about last. Yeah, no, do, you I know do about not. That. No. Okay. All you know is I said you a message yeah, cause, talking uh, about cause talking about a chance that this isn't going to go in the recording, yeah. but this is just some out of game stuff. Revan is, I mean, you already know this. Revan is the emperor of the empire. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. He already knew this. Yeah. But in game, you don't. Okay. You obviously don't know that. Yeah. Yeah, because him and Nathan have like similar views, as far as worldly views. It just worked out. Yeah. That Revan was already kind of becoming a bloodthirsty. Warmonger, yeah. when he happened to time travel. So, you know. I am. So, it, it just worked out for everybody's favor in that case. <coughs> Alright, so do you want in on a deal for immortality? <laughs> it would mean that you would have to uh, leave mm -hmm. the Republic mission, though. I don't want to betray the guy that I'm over. Because he was pretty cutthroat. And I would know this because. Uh, well. Would I? No, well, he's pretty who, cutthroat. Who, uh, who? JP? Yeah, would I know he's cutthroat? You don't know about Malgus's death yet. Well, I'm saying that I don't know about his death, but would I know that his personality is very. Oh, cutthroat? yeah. Uh, Chikara, though. Mm, Chikara's only killed a few times, actually, in this campaign so far. Chikara hasn't really proven herself as, like, a dead, like, a Sith you don't want to mess with yet. And technically, Jakar is not your top uh, leader. Keeper is. Jakar is just kind of leading you in the sense of you just happen to be reporting to her if you choose to. Okay. Really, Jakar is working for you in a way because the information you give her is how she can plan battles. 
Okay, so <laughs> I'm just saying, fuck work, that. Working for the person who just said, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> so Immortality, I'm let's go. So I'm technically working for him? Uh, keeper. Keeper. Keeper, keeper is, is also keeper. my boss. Yes, Keeper is the head of the ISB. Think, okay. think uh, M. Okay, think what? M from James Bond. I don't know James Bond. Uh, think... Charlie from Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Or, well, Bosley. Bosley. Well, Bosley, yeah. <coughs> yeah, technically there is no Charlie in Charlie's yeah, Angels. Yeah, I know, it's weird, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so what is... The keeper, is the keeper, like very cutthroat and stuff like that. He can be, but I mean, That's... if you can, if if you can prove that you leaving the battle was worth it for the empire as a whole, he'll look it over. No, it wouldn't be worth it for the empire as a whole. Immortality is not worth it for the <laughs> empire. Immortality wouldn't be worth it because of the possibility that only one person could use it, or that would break the people apart. Which is, I think, how that's going to happen, by the way. Okay. <laughs> if that's how... Okay. Is that how your character would think on it? Yeah, that's how my character okay. would think on it. Because you All said right. that they were logic-based. Yeah, yeah. The chips are logic-based. So I'm using... I'm, like, logically so, playing it out. So, logically... The answer is no. <laughs> logically, anytime somebody promises you immortality, it's a trap. Well, yeah. I mean, you, the two exactly. of you could probably roleplay it and talk since yeah, he's I'm offering it to you. Oh. And I like, saw the he could probably try to persuade you more than the DM yeah, just giving you facts. Yeah, that's what you were offering. Yeah, but where well, would I well, be at the well, time? Well, is the question that well, with us? Like we would have. No, to no, no, no. I'm saying I'm. They're getting ready for a battle. Yeah. Am I just? Am I still right. unknown? Well, you're, clean? you're with them, so you just I like know. booped in, like when we were booping out. So. Uh, so I would be with that everyone, and I wouldn't be able to talk at the moment. Yeah, so this... No, because you're in that room, remember? You're still, oh, you're in the private call room. Yeah, yeah remember you're just you moving into the battle. Oh, yeah, I did. And I did not know that anything was going on, because I was busy cleaning my weapons. Yeah, you've been cleaning your weapons. <laughs> right. Okay. Come on, it's immortality. What are you going to do if, like... <laughs> Honestly, now it's re really just a problem of yes or no. Do you want me to come find you and eliminate the problem? I would prefer not to, but I will because now you know. And are are you like in the same room as us? Yeah, so he's just sitting. So he's just like sitting there, like come on, come on, and he's like, and Aisin's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Check this guy out, man. And Charlie's like translating because he can. Oh, is he? Oh, you're like oh. So Charlie's like just spitter in my ear, and I'm like, tell her we got money. <laughs> they have we, a we lot of her. money. They also have protection, and I just stole like half the armed forces for this battle. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will win, yeah, sure. But what about the long run? Oh, and that's when one of the soldiers that went with you that agreed is like, huh? What? We left the battle. <laughs> <laughs> We win. We can do more. <laughs> Are you saying we committed treason? Yeah, you did. Well, he did. <laughs> I love this guy. I love, I love this guy. Oh, oh, <laughs> roll for damage. Yep. Roll for damage. Yeah, it's the roll for Sorry. damage. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> give me, well, give me a, 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 your gun. Which one? <laughs> Whichever one you use. Yeah, which one did you use? Uh, I'm assuming a pistol. Like he's in the he's in the middle of this, and the, and the one guy's watching his hand. He's like, "We come in the Boom! <laughs> and he goes back to communicate. <laughs> I've got like, Sorry about that. <laughs> Son of a bitch got in the way. I've got a repeater blaster and a nice stinger. <laughs> You got a what? What? Uh, I stole one of the repeater blasters from the dead. Guy. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it was a good idea. Well, point blank in the face, I think, is a good shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll use... You're definitely getting a boost to it. Yes. I guess definitely. I'll use that one. Okay, so... Which is a ranged heavy. Okay, so what's your ranged heavy? Ranged heavy, there are two yeah. ranks so really, in it. So really, he went like, he went like this. <laughs> <laughs> Range heavies are usually double heavy yeah. weapons. <laughs> because so he went, in terms of gun, that's all I've got. I mean, I could have just like, for flavor, I guess we could have said I used the knife. 
I don't know if you're thinking your character was gonna be like a B actor. It's like on his leg. Like, he's got a knife on his leg and he's like. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> whichever one, like. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't do shit, you're dead. <laughs> No, actually, what's funny is if you hadn't shot him, he was going to kill himself. Oh, it's so much better that he shot him, though. Yeah, it is. So, I guess, where are we doing? It's great character reaction. It is. Oh, what are we going to do from... Okay, so what's like, your actually, heavy gunner? Uh, ranged heavy? Yeah. There are two ranks in that. Okay, so you at least have two yellow. What's your agility? Agility? Two. Okay, so just two yellow. Two yellow. And then add a blue to it? Okay. A blue... And then these guys are basically the same as, as the uh, oh, and he's uh, one purple because he's right there. <laughs> yeah, because it was he's only one purple. Yeah, because it was oh, he's, late. he's so fucking dead. Also got Pierce <laughs> one. That's nice. Oh yeah, straight through this. Oh, he's gonna shoot the inside of my shit. Okay, so that's two bangs, a horseshoe, and one turtle shell. <laughs> oh my Jesus! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so these cancel out. Uh, yeah. They're uh, doing my thing. So he's got two hits. Although he added a new phrase, turtle shell. He did add turtle shell. Well, Josh <laughs> never rolled a purple. Shell. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he's... Oh, those are clearly shields. <laughs> <laughs> like, that one makes sense. Uh, so let's see, so... The turtle shell also makes sense. You still succeeded, though. Yeah, you still got uh, succeeded. What's the damage? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven? 12, 13. Oh, he's dead. Uh, and plus, you said it's. Uh, it's got a uh, Pierce 1. Yeah, which means it ignores. Two. Uh, and it ignores at least. You said 2? It's Pierce 1. Okay. My. Oh, sorry. So it ignores at least one soak. Mm -hmm. So that's 2 soak. Yeah, he's got 2 soak left, and what was he? It? He did 11 plus 2 is 13, yeah. so it's still 11. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> 11 damage. He's dead. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a five wound threshold. Yeah, because he's a wound threshold at five. Yeah, you Ooh. double killed him. You, yeah. Just, like, hold on. Like, he died twice. Like, the bullet hit in, and he was like, oh, I'm dead. And boom, back out of the head. Like, for a second, he thought he survived. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just his soul transitioning to yeah, hell. That's... Yeah, so he's dead as shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just look over to, like, one of the, one of the lovely. Will you clean that up? Will you? Get rid of that. Clean that up. Thanks. So, you... I like the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So you see this on the comm, by the way. <laughs> All you hear is, "What? We committed treason!" And you hear, "Because you see, she's in my forces." I'm just gonna like walk over to his comm so she can see me and be like, "Come on, we have cookies." <laughs> also that. <laughs> Dude, I've already owned the Look. dark side. So one of the one well, of your guys, dark. one of your guys drags him and starts dragging him to the elevator to you know bring him into the airlock. Yeah, like what they did to the last guy. <laughs> the evidence. Yeah, which would be worse. You're gonna find out why oh. because uh, you're in hyperspace. Oh, uh, so bodies. Uh, we we did we in our first session we actually had a body go into hyperspace. It disintegrates. Oh, that's great. Cause, no evidence. I like it. Yeah. Because it, because uh, hyperspace is basically you're like in a wormhole type thing. Yeah. You're in a different dimension when you're traveling in hyperspace. <coughs> that's why it's so quick to travel through that. Yeah. So you want to take me up on that offer now? <laughs> uh... That's also slightly threatening. <laughs> <laughs> After okay. we're all of what the hell? Yeah, I feel like it's slightly intimidating only because like you saw him murder somebody and then he's like, So you wanna join me now? I don't know what that would be. Uh that would be a um probably coercion. Or yeah, coercion. coercion. Uh, and then I guess in your case a, a discipline would be fighting it. Uh, I don't have nothing in coercion. <laughs> uh, what, well, what's your coercion is what? That's a, uh, presence thing? Coercion is a will. Coercion is a will. Oh, will? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, what's your will? <coughs> two. Okay, so two green. Okay, would you mind? And what does she have? Uh, I'm... What is she going against? Uh, Thank her you. discipline, because I feel her like discipline. that... Because I feel like that would make sense in this scenario. Yeah. Uh, she has a red and a purple for this, so add that to your roll before you roll. Okay. Red and a purple. 
I am not going to convince her on this one. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> Maybe you do. Let's oh. see. I don't uh, want to be convinced. Did it cancel, cancel out again? <laughs> oh, wait. These cancel, these cancel. A perfect cancel out. Wow. Yes! So you can roleplay as you wish to roleplay on either side. Come on. You don't want to end up like... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be another check. Oh, well, yeah, that's basically that would be another check. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be another uh, coercion. Yeah. Come on, look, we've got... We'll get money, we'll have power, we'll have more resources. They won't be able to touch us. Last. Anybody wronged you, you can get justice without any consequences. It's a trick. Of course it's a trap. It's always a trap. No, it's not a trap. Dude, why would you that's admit that after you not a trap, so yeah. Much. It's Wait. a trap. Every time someone offers something unbelievable, it's a trap. Tell her we'll give her a million dollars. I'm not going, even for all the money in the world. Five million. <laughs> Aren't Five you a bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should be wanting to join us. Yeah. Five, uh, I'm I a, love but she's, Smith, by the way. But at the same time, she's a lo logistical baddie. Yeah, I'm logistical. Five million You credits. should logistically think about this. To be fair... Think of her like uh, Tywin from Game of Thrones. Tywin wouldn't fall for something like this. Five million credits but he's right now. Yeah, but he's a midget. <laughs> no, Tywin. Oh, so oh Tywin. Yeah. Five million credits now. Not Tyrion. Not Tyrion. We do yeah, a I couple of jobs. Yeah, Tyrion would definitely. Be. All we'd have to do is offer him some boobs. Yeah, Tyrion would fall for it. We got some money and boobs. I'm on the <laughs> ship. <laughs> and boobs. <laughs> yeah, and boobs. We got one of that. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the end of the you call. Don't, you don't you want to. You, dis you choose not you to. You sure you don't want to? I'm sure I don't want to. It's a trap. It's, it's, my place it's, it's not it's a, trap. a trap. It's a trap. You don't have trap. to hunt you down. Ooh. Jesus, <laughs> roll again. <laughs> roll again. Now. Roll again. That is, oh my God. <laughs> roll again. It's easy to see yourself as the good guy <laughs> when you do it. Okay. Jeez, somebody went no. too Did you just roll the same exact uh, thing? No, no, he I, actually I, fell. I failed. Uh, no, you fell. So, you are actually enraged by this. Oh, you're mad. <laughs> but, I... but, and, yeah. She just, she I just said, hang up on him. She just okay. on him. I hang up on him, and temporarily, right. I block the number. <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> So you, are you Failure. going to try to call again? <laughs> no. <laughs> now I have to keep good on my word. <laughs> oh, you're going to die. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you should have gone beyond the market one day and just... <laughs> I actually have an evil way for how you can do it. I mean, like, to be fair, like my original plan I mean, was... To be fair, she's okay with dying tonight, from what I remember. It's always happy. But you, um, you yeah. but you could have lived for it. <laughs> you could. So, for that was a pretty generous and offer. Thing, you <laughs> I have an evil plan for how you can do it. I mean, I like the way you did it. You were like, hey, you can die like whenever I find you, or you could just live forever. She's like, <laughs> hangs up on you. You're like, okay, death. It's easy. <laughs> he offered it three separate times. <laughs> Kill a bitch, I'm game. <laughs> With the bonus of five million from you. Yeah, I offered five million. No, no, it's a trap. It may be a trap, it's but he turns down five million credits. I'm going to be fucking surprised if he this, doesn't make uh, it a trap. This is gonna a, be he's not going to make it a trap. There is a there is a mortality there. I'll say that. Now, <laughs> I'm pretty how it works. That's my. I mean, I, I don't care if it works. I'm going to tell we people it works reason? and still well, sell it. Yeah. So I guess I'll relieve you of your duties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, you didn't even give him that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we committed treason. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Back to the. You don't even know if he was going to be okay with it or not. You were just like, oh. He said the word treason. He said, I'm going to wear this jacket from now on. The next time I play another game, I'm just going to be a Sith Lord and just like. Well, your next character is a Sith Lord. You're right. Any other, <laughs> any other questions, everyone? Uh, so, out of game, what I think should go down, you should report her to the Keeper. Oh my god. As having gone. Rogue. rogue. She's gone rogue. Do it now. <laughs> no, wait until... Well, no, no. If she does this now, the other agents will have to get to you, which will take time. 
And so far, at the end, I'm fine with it'll being be by dead. The end as long as I get to play this game. Oh no, you will. Yeah, you will. But Definitely. doesn't that also cause <laughs> other problems? Uh, how so? If yeah. you report that she's gone rogue to the keeper, and then as long as he doesn't ask any other questions, which he probably won't, just shoot him too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You can kill him later. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I mean. But all depends on um, does we, he we, is that a trap? Out of game, have the emperor with us anyway, so it doesn't. You're still with the emperor. <laughs> yeah, that's a younger Te version. Yeah, technically. I serve the emperor directly now. <laughs> Oh wait! I got one hell what of a promotion. Say? Yeah, he's just younger. He's just younger. Is he? Yeah. Yes, time travel. Oh well, yeah, the time traveling. <coughs> wait, so there's two. Wait, so the emperor now. Yeah, there's an emperor currently in the present, which, which is, is an older Revan. And now we have the younger Revan. Yeah, because that's who time traveled into your ship. Yes. So we it, can kill the old and replace him with the new, or younger. Hey. I mean, that might be. He might actually be okay with that one. He would. Because you just can't kill the younger version, otherwise you. Kill the older version. Yeah, yeah. otherwise you mess up the time stream. No, yeah. That's, but if you kill the older one, live, there's no problem. He would live longer. Yeah, we, we can persuade the new guy, the, the newer Revan of that. But of course, you also have to figure that out. Yeah, we'd have to figure oh, you, I you thought I knew that. Know, that. I, no, you don't know that Revan is the Emperor. Except for not just going rogue. Yeah, not in, no not in game. Oh, okay. I yeah, because you, you weren't. I thought you, you said I did. Because you weren't there when that reveal happened in game. Because that was during that Smoky Bandits Part Two. Oh damn it! Smoky Bandits Part Two was when that reveal happened. You sent the Smoky Bandits there, and that's when they found out. But they never reported back to you because that's when that they died. Fast. Oh, yeah. they died. Yeah, remember? Because <laughs> Dan. That's for Dan, immediately. Because Dan blew everybody up. <laughs> that's I like it. Dan pulled a big All right. Eye. So, I suppose it's time to sell people out who didn't really do anything. <laughs> Cypher 9 is truly gone rogue. <laughs> is that what you tell him? She must be stopped at all costs. <laughs> I love it. Wow. I love it. You're so dead. <laughs> Keep her I'm not being dead at the game, though. Now. I hope she kills like every so, agent that comes out. I know. I kind of want. I kind of want you to win some of these. There's just like this full on. <laughs> if it turns out that I have to somehow die at the beginning of the next one, <sighs> I'm fine with that. Yeah. Like, oh man, it would be so awesome this. if she survives. <laughs> I know it. All right, let's go. We got immortality. <laughs> right, yeah, we should go do that thing. Oh, well, we you got already this thing. I mean, you're already on your way there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Well, we were going to make a pit stop for somebody, so but they didn't want to go, so... So that's yeah. like <laughs> two people? <laughs> yeah, it's going to take you a few hours to get there, so... All right. Yeah, so let's... Uh, if I just... suppose he'll go and ask, does anyone, anyone else want to ask the same question as... Uh, Dead guy? Dead guy. <laughs> no, I, I love it. This guy's seriously becoming a Sith Lord without even becoming a Sith Lord. It's amazing. Uh, one of them raises their hands and is like, uh, sir? Yes. Um, what if he was okay with it? He had yeah. nothing to live for. <laughs> okay, that one actually could work. Ooh, he had nothing to live for. <laughs> yeah, know. because technically... That, one, that one's at his least... Dog died. <laughs> te te <laughs> <laughs> we got word. Your wife called. Your dog died. Okay. She's dead too. He's so. <laughs> no, no guys. You both got run over by a bus. No, no. <laughs> you got something even better. Uh, I'm thinking uh, of uh, the of Mad Max. Oh God, the first one. Oh yeah. He's happy now. He's in a better place. <laughs> they both got ran over. <laughs> you know so, what's funny? The first one, oh. Max, the wife and child die. Mm-hmm. And you know they get like run over and all that. Oh, yeah. I, I get you. That's so fun. And the Punisher, the Thomas Jane one, same exact death. Same exact death. <laughs> I am not the guy to be fucked with. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be fitting right in with Ace. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna nickname him the Punisher. <laughs> oh no, we had a nickname for him already. Oh, it was the, the Silent, Silent death. death. Silent Death. I like it. He had to earn it though, but yeah. you might give you could be the one to give it to him. 
it, obviously he can't just give it to himself. You yeah. never give your own nickname. Well, I'm gonna give it to him now. He's silent with that. Because <laughs> I mean, he didn't. No you know, warning. Te- technically, he was saying something, just not to that guy. <laughs> and there was no warning. <laughs> yeah. That was like the immediate thing my mind jumped to when he asked that question. <laughs> He's in the middle of conversation. Oh my Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love that that Outside was your first thought. Outside the gate. I'm like, Look well, I'm... Look at this, guys. Hold on, let me... I'm a bad guy now. <laughs> uh, okay, so after this, we, we'll jump back to the Republican. Yeah. <laughs> let the battle begin. Right. Yeah. That's their problem. That Josh kills him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to sit back. So oh, we're going to assume JP gets it. sacked. Uh, what are you trying to give him? It's just a comm ship. Putting his comm to reach me. Okay. So, I'm going to role play it out just for fun. Okay. So, the spy sneaking through the ship mm-hmm. as the battle is going on, because I'm going to assume it's during the battle that this will occur. Mm-hmm. And she's angry, and she sees a... Uh, I'm thinking with a chess <laughs> Chikara. Chikara. Or Chikara. I'd have to ask. Chik. Chico. It's Chikara. Something like that. And. I'm listening, but she, she starts to pull out the listening device. That way she can pocket it That's in. That's not going to go well. That's. Yeah, it's just a chip. Oh, it's just a chip? For him to plug into his comm. Okay, well, she pulls out the chip oh. then. And yeah. She's got to pocket it into there and just leave. Or at least that's what she's gonna try to do. She's gonna try to do. She has no idea we've left her there to die anyway. Yeah. So the and she hears Angrel say, I can't believe they left us here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. You shouldn't have trusted them. I did I didn't think they would leave us. (laughs) That's JP's game. Yeah. I'm going to make him pay if he we ever see him again. You better (laughs) And that's when your scout, your, I guess, yeah. kind of decides to try to sneak by. And let's we'll see how she does. Oh, I hope this goes well for her, even though she's going to die. <laughs> I just hope she gets the comment. That's all I mean. So, oh goodness. I should not have given y'all permission to gill me off at the end of the episode. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, yes. Like I said, I do deaths epically. <laughs> he does. Well, okay, so she manages to pocket it in, mm-hmm. and as she's starting to walk away, that's when Angel's like, "Who's that?" <laughs> oh, oh, can I role play her? Can I role yeah. play the chick? Uh, Asens. Nobody. Me. You mean that traitorous bastard? Any? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, he didn't even give her a chance to say something. Starts to strike lightning at her. And he stops, and he says, You have any words for yourself before I kill you? What did you mean by traitorous? He left us here. He left? Yes. Good. Just look for yourself. And he shows the open window of, like, the battle going on. And she (laughs) can see that Asen, that the Star Force 2 is gone. Uh, so, she's quickly just gonna, like, fall to her knees and bend her head and be like, then can I join you? Because that was technically my ride and I have nowhere to go, so can I stay with you? (laughs) She's like, I didn't betray you because I'm still here. Angrel backhands her and looks at one of his guards and says, bring her to the the brig. Yeah, saved her life. (laughs) For now. For now. (laughs) She'll be useful, maybe, later. Ten points for Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> so that's during the battle. So let's actually see the start of the battle. All right, Josh, the battle yeah. begins. Let's see if you live through it. Okay, can we all play with me for a second since I'm still on the thing? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go, yeah. So you? so you just finished this conversation, and you hear the, the ship going... As if it's coming out of hyperspace like and it's hard, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I get up, so I'm hanging up my things, and I try to figure out what's going on. Okay, so you can hear, you hear over the speakers, <clears throat> prepare for battle, prepare for battle. I'm like, okay, uh, I have no idea what's going on, but okay. Music is on point. It was a bounty hunter video game. It was, it was on point. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
It's, it's giving her time <laughs> to think. Yeah, we need something for battle. <laughs> oh, I got it. Don't worry. You don't have time to think. Yeah, so what go ahead. Need to do with just that. tell me what you're up to for now. That I try and figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, so I find the nearest person and ask them what's going on. We just arrived in front of the blockade. We're all getting into our fighters to prepare for battle. Oh crap! I need to. You I've been cleaning my weapons for too long. For an hour. <laughs> mm. Suspicious. <laughs> you missed a war. <laughs> <laughs> cleaning my weapons calms me, dude. Very thorough. Mm. Always want them in working what they condition. All say. <laughs> so, are you going to start making way to a ship? Yeah, I'm gonna start making my way. I'm trying to find the rest of my squad. So, do I need to roll on that way to find them or not find them? Oh uh, no, you'll find them. Okay. It's basically one big hanger. Okay. <clears throat> so find them, let them know, hey, let's find out that we have to go to battle. I've been cleaning my guns and because it's meditative for me. That's fine. Let us, let's just go. Uh, that's Jack, finally, completely sober again. Okay. And he gets in, and he says, you want to be my number two? <laughs> okay. So you get into the back spot of the ship, because it's two seats. So, like, there's a back gunner section, and he'll be the one flying it. Okay. All right. So he, he starts to take off as the other Havoc squad members get in their ships as well and start to take off. Okay. <laughs> you heard a little bit of that sound effect. My amazing, not so amazing sound effects. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just love the way the ships sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it's hitting the brakes. The air brake? Yeah. <laughs> In space? Yeah. They came out of, you know, they came out of going plaid. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Baseballs reference. Spaceballs. Stupid spaceballs. <laughs> okay. So, we're heading to the battle. Yep, as the music can tell you. <laughs> Which is perfect for battle. So, I don't think there's anything else I can do at the moment, so go to him. Alright, Josh. So you're leading your, so you're having the forces be led onto their ships while you're getting ready to shoot the cannons? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. So we know there's a blockade there. Yep. And we're trying to punch through the blockade. Yep. <clears throat> okay, I want to do uh, a hyperspace... Uh, <laughs> now what's the move from Futurama where he fucking, like, slips out? <laughs> uh, I'm going to, like, drift out of hyperspace. Uh, so I'm going to come out of hyperspace right up on him and just, like... Well, you're already out. I mean, you you weren't flying the ship. Okay, well, the plan was okay. to pop out of um, hyperspace adjacent and just, like, open up. Give yeah. me something to shoot. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm plenty. <laughs> Pick one, anyway. Yeah. The guy in the front. You okay. gotta go first. Oh, oh, the captain? Okay. All right. Give me... Sorry. You're good. I'm trying. Let's see. You're good. Trying to make sure that this thing is low. What, uh, so you're just shooting at What's your gunnery? You tell me. Oh, yeah. So. It was two. Oh, yeah, he just has two green. Oh, yeah. by the way, my character is going to die at the end of this. So let's see, two green and... I bet I don't know that in game. Two purple. I'm actually just <laughs> taking the off. <laughs> uh, do I get all kinds yeah, of I'm modifiers because I'm shooting big ass anyway, guns dude. in space? Oh, you, well, okay. Yeah, that's why. Shooting what's in. I mean, all right. Okay, that makes sense. So, capital ship anti air cannons have the same attack power as. I think this will be in the next one because school starts. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, that's right. I just don't know. Well, does this like that's make a difficult to deal? That's a difficult to deal. Like, yeah. Locate the dying at the end of this? Yeah, I do. I forget now, what those are. Now it makes a that's lot of sense. That's the wrong dice. Yes, it does. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so that's. 
I'm supposed to roll so green, aren't spy. I? What colors? Well, I needed that as well, but give me the two <coughs> green. I'm not going to spy anymore, okay. but I guess so let's that see. works. That was difficulty, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the difficulty. I don't know. Wait, I thought he had two, two yellows. No, he just, uh, for gunnery, he's only got two green. Oh. Um. That's what I was saying. He only has two in gunnery when you were asking me earlier. Oh, okay. Because he only has his straight up uh, agil uh, agility on it. His best things are brawling, lightsabers, and melee. So he's. Well, a, I'm gonna punch him with my ship then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just make so he's hard. brawling for that? <laughs> brawling is for like fist fights. You didn't hear me. Oh no. I didn't. <laughs> I said, can I like punch him with my ship? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a battering maneuver. <laughs> good. How good are the shields so, on there? As you <laughs> fire, he kind of just. <laughs> and it, hits, it does hit them a little. Because he moved out of the way. Okay. All right. And is that all my forces uh, summed up? That's just your main. That's ship. just you, but I mean, everybody else gets a turn. You got to shoot something. Do I control all these other people? Uh, they're all NPCs, but you can choose how they where they go because you're kind of. They're all them. fighters, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send them to broadside. To oh. Uh, to kind of... Yeah, they're going to attack the big ship in the back from, from the from the flank. Alright, so they're just going to try to make their way to just break through. Well, I'm the big ship, right? You have a big ship and they have a big ship. Yeah, so I'm going to like exchange volleys with them, and then they have fighters around it. So mm -hmm. I imagine the fighters are like, they're going to be coming out towards my way, and then they're going to realize that their their ship is getting... Yeah, so you're just sending yours straight in. Yeah. Got it. So then they'll have to either attack right. me and get fucked up by my anti-aircraft so, cannons, or they'll have to turn back and try to defend their ship. Yep. So in that case, the well, I'm moving up and shooting them, apparently. Oh, uh, why are you moving up? Or, or, yeah, I feel like the ship would be here. Okay. And then everybody's kind of partnered up in some way. Because the ship... Two-man team. Yeah. Because the ships can carry two. So... Three is the furthest they can go. Hey there. One, two. So soft. Three. Do you moisturize? No. Just his natural smoothness. Yeah. yeah. Smooth like butter. Who are all those weird dudes in the side? On the, <laughs> the people I left. <laughs> they were part of his. Are they fighting or are they about to get fucked uh, up? They're probably going to try to retreat. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> like so it's actually their turns, and so doesn't have hyperspace. So just imagine he's like only a few. Wow, trying to yeah. flee a battle without yeah, hyperspace but, uh, drive. No. Well, there, most fighters don't have hyperspace drives on them. <coughs> yeah. So yeah, they're they're still they're in. Fuck them. They just got. Yeah, just. It's like know. being on rowboats in the middle of the Atlantic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he let, let one of them get prisoner. Essentially. Yeah, but at least They're probably going to torture her for information. You know. Uh, they'll be like, hey, where... Do you know so where that was my on? Havoc Squad. Uh, your Havoc Squad is those guys, yeah. Okay. You're in there? Yeah, she's yeah, on okay. one of them. I'm on one of them. That's uh, the reason why we all played me first, is that way I can be out of that room. Right. Uh, so, so being meditative speaking of, are events. you going to try to take a shot while you're coming in, I guess, or are you going to wait till you get closer? Because the orders are to try to get to the capital ship. That's going to be the orders. Well, I, I, I would assume I'm assuming that's what you range of any other unit. I'm assuming you. Yeah, okay. So then, yeah, fire at whoever. Then, do you want to fire at somebody? That's what then. What's their range? Their well, squares. Uh, they can reach pretty far, it's just it'd be a harder difficulty depending on how far they want to shoot. I'm trying to take out those TIE Fighters on the left on your way in. These? Okay. Yeah, because you're, you're in that one. Okay. And yeah, that, that's where they were, that space that they were just at. No, the one you just moved. Yeah, that's you. Okay. <coughs> okay. So you can probably easily hit these or even these two because those are fighters as well. Yeah, but he wants me to hit these two. Okay. Just any of those. Yeah, just any. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter who you hit. 
or try to hit. Okay, so I'm aiming for. Are these close together that they stay? Uh, I know they are in spacing wise. On yes. The yeah. Yeah. If you see them in spacing wise, that's relative to how far apart they are. I'm going to try for these two. Okay. Well, which one out of the two? Because really, you'd only get. Well, the we get three units. Are we? Is that six fighters or three fighters? Of three two fighters units? with two people. So we'll just attack one, two, three. Okay. So one, two, three. Sure. Okay. I didn't know how you wanted. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm aiming for that one. Okay. Okay, you're gonna aim for that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but concentrated fire, so don't move to the next. And one. technically, they can fire twice per ship, though, because you've got the main guns at the. Right, just pilot has. try to concentrate fire okay. so like if one doesn't die, don't move to the next. Okay. Alright, so everybody's gonna try shooting at that one first. Alrighty. Uh, in that case, I need your... I need you to roll a... you also have two green. Okay, two green. And then... Uh, Do you have anything else? Two purple. I'm just separating these. Alright. So I like how you... Made them all keep looking. And then once that's done, depending on the score. But you hit four shields that hit and two advantages. So you hit, but let's see. shields take out advantage or hits. <coughs> uh, no, no uh, the the advantages. Okay, so it's a hit with no advantage. Yeah, it's actually a hit with disadvantage because the shields are disadvantages. <coughs> Yeah, the triangle is the hit for that dice, or the the miss. Miss. Well, I, I. So that'd be like a hit with minor bad stuff. Yeah. Well, okay. I wanted that, so that's no. perfect. So yeah, that's fine. You hit. Uh, and how many hits was that? One. One. Okay. So let's see. <coughs> so was that the first attack, first ship, or both that's attacks? That's the first attack for the first ship. Okay, roll it again. Well, hold on. I gotta add things up. Plus, I gotta figure out what the disadvantage is. Uh, the gun over overheating. Yeah, I was thinking overheating, so you have to wait a turn on your next. Okay. Uh, let's see, so that's. Let's see how much damage that does, though. I hope it didn't do much. You managed to do seven total damage. <coughs> and then, uh, that is perfect stuff for this. You can see he's hurting. So go ahead and roll it again because uh, Jack is gonna. Yeah, same stuff. You can see the shimp limp away. Jack is gonna fire as well. Oh, you can tell the shimp is hurting. <laughs> well, like it's, it's like ah ah. <laughs> Tyler's like go, and he's like I don't know. It's spinning out of control. Okay, that definitely That's finished four it off. advantages. Mm -hmm. oh. Two misses and a disadvantage? Yeah, uh, oh. Yeah, so no hits, hits with lots oh, of no advantage. Hits. No but hits. something really good happens. But something really good happens. So like, to dodge the fire, it like flies into one of its buddies or something. Um, let's see, what do we got? Right, that's how advantages and disadvantage work. Ah. It's like unintended good things, bad things. You could actually use that advantage to fix your overheating issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. So now you Makes can, more sense yeah. to use that as my cover. Yeah. So you can use that as a chance to fix your gun real okay. quick. That way, okay. when it comes back around to you... Next you can, unit. Yeah, it's the same, yeah, same stuff, yep. Two hits versus one miss. Okay, so it... So this it unit, off. first shot, is a one hit up. Okay, finished. Okay, now second ship, second unit. Mm, one mm. hit, two disadvantage. Okay. So they're so it hits, but it's their guns yeah, overheating now, you know. So, so okay. it hit that guy. Hold on, uh, one hit. Yeah, you one said? hit. Okay, and then overheated. Now it's this guy. No, well, turn. yeah. Well, actually, that chip. That, yeah, that guy's turn. Uh, hits. hit with one disadvantage yep. total. Dead, but and then overheat. The last gun. Yep. Uh, uh miss. one miss total. Uh, yeah. So nothing. Yeah. So one miss. Okay. <laughs> so now we're back to the top. Oh, well, actually, it's their turn. Because obviously they get turns. Yes. Uh, so this guy's going to try to come in to try to save his friends. It was in rings. Okay, so... Can I go for your ship yet? Okay. Uh, it's the same stats. It's green, two purple. Yep. Oh. 
They have three advantage with a miss and two disadvantage. So no hit, one advantage. Okay, so, so he's, he's going to get... slightly good happens, but they don't... Yeah, he's going to get an extra maneuver, and he's going to kind of... Close the gap. So, yeah, now he's really... So he did a barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> and do a roll for the other guy? Uh, well, actually... No, that was for him. That was for him. Now it's, now it's him. Yep. To roll again for the yeah guys. yeah so yeah just keep rolling the same dice don't even She's move got them. Some in her hand. yeah yeah that's a okay that cancels okay so then that guy misses but go ahead and roll that again for this yeah, one keep going. yeah keep going so one, one hit and nothing else okay one hit total okay and they're all aiming for the same ship like you guys were right um roll again. so now you're one. hurting. So, do we have two HP per ship just like they do? Yeah. Or because we're a bigger ship, do we have more HP? It's the same, because uh, I'm looking okay. at the stats so here. That indicates one hit. Well, it's not two HP, it's more of just the oh, damage that the ships do. So, like, yeah. it just happened that whenever you guys hit twice that there was enough damage on... Oh, uh, okay. <coughs> so, about how many hits to die is it for one of our ships? Uh, let's see. From an enemy tie. So I'm sorry, do, from an enemy not tie. They do six damage. Naughty for short. And you guys have... Oh, you guys have, like, two more health than them, so... It would, so probably, take, it would probably take the same amount of uh, hits, actually. Depending how... It depends on how many hits, like, actual hits okay. they have. So, yeah. Okay, so... Now one more, and then the captain, who's gonna have higher stats. So, roll the same dice one more time. Mm, one hit, one disadvantage. All right. So they get a disadvantage. Hit. So they they hit uh, probably. Let's see. Six, seven. Probably ooh, just like that. Clip, probably just clip a wing. Though. Not enough to. Yeah, it's not enough because of the. Because of the. Uh, then what? They overheat their guns or. Yeah, they overheat their guns, but it's not enough to get rid of. Constance's uh, ship. So, almost mm -hmm. dead. Almost, yeah. Like, you're on the last bit of your... Jack is yeah, probably... When they die, die, we'll just take them off. Yeah. And so, right, now so it's the captain's stay. turn. He's not going to attack, actually. He's going to start... Four, one, two, three... Coming right for you. He's coming at your ship. What is he flying? A, he's fi flying a fighter. A fighter versus my... Like frigate or whatever. Well, he's making is. his way to the hangar. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he's just gonna defend. I asked, okay. I asked. So is that one fighter in front of that big ship? Show my mom. What I mean, he's doing. closing that okay. gap. Right. That's my turn. Uh, yeah. Now we're back just to the top. Person. All right. Do I get a proximity well, bonus to hit this guy? Awesome. Yeah, you're gonna be closer, so you actually get one less purple. Uh, so. One advantage? Yeah, one advantage. So you have an extra maneuver if you want it, or you can even, uh, let's see, what else can you do? You can add a boost to any active allies for their next check, which is that blue die, so that will add to their I'll, uh, I'll shield up. Okay. So he can't get through. All right. And also to resist any incoming damage. Okay, so you're basically going to make his next roll harder. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He'll have to take out my shield generator. Alright, and now we're back to... Our guys? To the rest of your guys, which... Okay. Alright, uh, so I'll do, I'll do this ship over here and you can do the rest. Well, actually, well, yeah, go ahead and fire Jax. Con well, well, I'll, I'll, I'll fly him, first. you shoot him. Constance is first anyways. So, Constance, are you going to fire? Because Jack is actually starting to talk about turning the ship around because of the damage. But let's, let's continue our uh, uh, assault before you roll attacks. Like, move them all up. Well, Jack's gonna go the opposite way. <laughs> Who's so Jack? The, the ship that's the right guy here. that's over oh, okay. me. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's gonna abort. Well, I, for obvious reasons. I I agree with him, and I say that we go back, that it would be a smart move okay. logistically to go back. Yeah, so go ahead and start making your way back. You can go up to three. Okay. Uh, you were one, one to the left. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. There you go. And in your next turn, you'll be able to make it to the ship. Uh, that was him flying, so you still have a turn. Do you want to fire at the the captain since he's still in space? I don't want to fire. I just want to retreat. 
Well, he's flying. You 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 can fire if you want while retreating. Oh uh, yeah, if you if you don't attack, you're just forfeiting your turn. Ah, these are I'm so 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 <laughs> I will have noticed on the battle grid that she had an opportunity to strike the enemy commander. And Actually, I'm just drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see, I see two fouls and a just. Uh, no. Just that, 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 that. Is that the thrown dice? Yeah, the two fouls were the thrown one. Uh, so Would you like me to reroll? One fail. No, I saw which one. One fail total. Yeah, so you failed. It, okay. It whizzes by. Okay, so I try. Do it. Alright. So now it's the NPC's ones. Uh, and they're gonna start aiming for this guy since he's the next. Well, let's continue moving. All the way up. Okay. One, two, three. Yep. And now I get that proximity <laughs> bonus again, or? Uh, now it's, uh, yeah, two green and a purple. Okay. Yep. I'll try to take out that one guy first. Uh, yeah, I saw. Okay, um, one hit. Yep. Uh, and then does he go down or has he got another health? He's got one more, but these guys. All right, hold oh on. yeah, because second, second gunner. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking dead. Three hits yep. and an advantage. Yep. Does he do proximity damage to the next guy as well, then? Yeah, we can add, like, an extra bit of damage to that guy. Okay, so now these guys are going to move straight up on their assault. Sorry. Oh. It's One, two, three. Guess. Yep, and they're going to try to first shot finish that guy off. Destroy him. Another damage. That's two damage. Two, uh, two the advantages. first guy shot? Oh, uh, well, it would have to be one... They, it wasn't enough to that first the the first okay, so they hit with two advantages. Okay. Uh, their ship is disabled. Yeah. So it's not exploded. It's just fucked up. Yeah. So it's just gonna start drifting. Okay. And then that second shot, I guess, across the way at this time. At no, that, you know what? Uh, it's that, gonna it's gonna go for their rear engines. Okay. Let's do that. That's gonna be an extra purple. Well, actually, it hit. Yeah, well... With a disadvantage. Yeah, it hit with disadvantage. So you managed to hit their engines, but their shields are still up. So you managed to take a little of their shielding. All right. All righty. If you ever played the original Battlefront games, you kind of get where I'm going with how the shielding worked on that one. Yeah, she's been pretty good for most of it when she's out here. Except for whenever someone gets Yeah, whenever first. someone gets up. That's not, you know, me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Other than that. So, so you don't want to go to prison, honey? Yeah. All right, so this guy is kind of just drifting. You might as well just take him all the things. Yeah. can't do anything. Okay. Um, there you go. This guy sees what you guys were doing, though. Move the intercept. And he starts firing at that at them. Same uh well, it's now closer so minus one, yeah. Uh tied. Yep. So uh, nothing. Alright, and then they're gonna also try to intercept. Nothing as well. And then they're just gonna finish off that interception. Uh hit and an advantage. Alright. So So just toss one of the guys sideways. Yeah. And then the captain's gonna continue his little adventure. Yep. What's the rule on that to get in? Or whatever he's trying to do. Uh he's going to need to do. Oh, was she looking at me when I did that? She's looking at me in the cookie jar. <laughs> oh you got it. Uh two green nice. and three purple. Alright. Two hit, one advantage, four misses though. So advantage, but missed by a mile. Okay, so he starts coming in hot, and he sees that the shields up. The shields are still <laughs> up, and so he just goes, <laughs> and he like at the last second, you can see like. So I guess the advantage is because he was moving so fast, and he peeled. He kind of moved or something. Yeah, he's no, over. Uh, move him. Di uh, no, back. Uh, one more. <gasps> Yep, that's good. Yeah, he kind of just... Pissed. He's just like, oh, nope. Alright. Now, uh, their big ship, are they going to try to anti-airship? 
Uh, they're kind of blocked by their own ships. Oh, perfect. So. Perfect. So our turn again? I'll let you go uh, first. Actually, we're gonna... I feel like we were treated. Uh, yes. Yeah, top of the stack again? Yeah, so it's she you. She can continue her retreat. Uh, oh, okay. You're going I'll let her do that. Yeah, because it, it actually doesn't matter as long as it's the same side. When, when it comes to this system, right, it's right. not like it's not like Pathfinder or D and D where it's like you're set in your block. Slot, yeah, yeah. It's, it's by group. Okay. So are you trying to finish the escape? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you need to roll for that. Yeah, you don't have to roll. I was trying you can get through our shields. Yeah, your yeah your ships have like yeah. yeah but look, I was gonna... one two three. You're there. Friendly yeah, tag. Right. Yeah, but I was gonna. Try are you gonna shoot. try to shoot while he's? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna go ahead, try, and shoot. Try, try to shoot. Go ahead. That way, it wouldn't arouse suspicion. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, then. Oh, why am I doing that? I have a fucking. And I. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. One hit. Two disadvantage. Okay, so you hit. Okay. But your guns are overheated. Not that it matters. Yeah. And he's retreating at anyway, so it, he yeah. only does. He's, he's only injured, yeah. All right, now it's my big ship's turn. Uh, and you can move yourself off the map as well as Jack. Yay! Hey. I'm gonna fuck him up. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you you fuck the dice up. <laughs> oh yeah, you did this. What do you get? Just you throw it on the table. Two triangles. Oh okay. Uh, well that's two hits then. Oh, okay. It's four hits, two misses. Yes. Okay. Uh, so who are you aiming at? Uh, I just fucked up that one Leg. guy's little ship Avatar? with my... Oh, the captain? My my frigate's anti-aircraft Okay, guns. you're aiming at the captain? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, he's... he's toast. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> well, he figured... Right, right. Try to get on board. Alright, let's finish up so with all the, these fighters. Take him off. Give him to me. Is the... Did I know where, this guy? Where, where? Well, I consider now that our ship for my movement, because like our entire side of the field is clear, and we're on the assault, that will move up. Yeah. You're just like facing it from a side. Yeah, end. we're just coming up with the broad side. Well, in reality, you'd be going <laughs> forward, but then it kind of just shifts back. Spaceships can move yeah. in any direction. <laughs> well, as long as they have engines in any direction. Okay, so the injured ship first, we're going to try to take out the fighter starting from the left and going to the right. That's a hit and an advantage. Alright, finish, because he was already injured. Alright, second gun. Two hits. Total. Nothing else. Okay. So that, that takes out a tie. Does it have two HP? Yeah, oh. Actually, one more hit will do it, because of the actual damage versus there. Okay, going to my second ship. Two hits, two misses. It cancels. Oh, yep. Second gun. That... That's one advantage total. Yep. <clears throat> so what do you want to do with it? Uh, maybe disable it. Because it has a lot of damage. It's probably trying to, like, yeah. get out of there. And I'm... Yeah, I'd probably hit it with, like, a disabling blast or something. I don't know, dude. What the heck okay. the options are for advantages and stuff. At this point... Okay, I know what my advantage is. Uh, two of them, they, they bump into each other. So, yeah, the one it's out and the other one takes damage. Alright. Collision damage. Nice! Yeah. He let me get away with it, so. Okay. Now it's their turn. Yep. And I'm guessing those other four dudes are <laughs> the second wave of fighters. Actually. That's a smart thing to do. <laughs> they went into hyperspace and left. Plot armor. <laughs> Only because one specific person's on that ship that I. Well, hey, technically, we you won. we <laughs> defeated the blockade, I mean, as much as that was a MacGuffin. We defeated the blockade, which was the objective, with zero uh, asset loss. Yep. I call that a uh, avalanche victory. Well, you have a heavily injured ship. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a loss. It didn't get blown up. No, it didn't. Repairs are way less costly than a, buying a new ship. Good point. And training new crew. And I didn't want to get blown up, honestly. Alright. So, uh, I'm guessing you're, you're all going to report back to your stations then? Mm hmm Yeah. So as you guys have, uh, return, Vin uh, says, Alright, good job. We finally got a victory. That's good. We've met... Flawless victory. 
And that's good because you I'll be expecting medals for this one. <laughs> the big, the oh. big ship? No, the big ship. Uh, Retreated? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Flawless oh. victory. A Angler wasn't going to let his flagship go down. <laughs> He's like, that's a stupid. That's yeah. a stupid thing to do. Why would I stay here when I'm getting my ass kicked? Yeah, exactly. All good military leaders should know when to retreat. Damn. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. So not only was this a good victory overall in that sense, it's also good for morale because this is the second battle of the entire war. Yeah. So. And they've won both. No, they lost the first one, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's good for morale. <laughs> you look good for morale. I think we lost off screen between episodes. No, you lost on screen. You <laughs> oh, just weren't here. here. That was when a bunch of NPCs that were important died. Yeah. And the I'm infamous I night of that? NPC murder. Did, that? No. Did I do that? I only murdered one. <laughs> only one? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, calls like another two or three to be murdered. No. And then he stunned me. Yeah, I stunned you. I could have killed you. Wait. One of our dudes. No, you're not one of our dudes. No. <laughs> no. I was about, like, how the fuck did one of our dudes stop her from murdering people and I didn't hear about it? <laughs> I didn't stop her from murdering anybody. He had no idea I was in that room. Oh, yeah. So. I had to go and find. You see. You see this guy walk up to you. Okay. Ooh. Who is he? Oh, he likes you. Who's he? Uh, he just walks to you, up to you and says, The keeper sends his regards. And he draws a gun. And then he walks away. He walks away? What a bitch! Uh, give me a perception. He could have freaking um, one shot. Okay, so... What dice? Uh, give me... Two green, and then Two green. three purple. Three purple. Oh, <sighs> failed. Because I, I want to somehow miraculously. This is your death right here. I know. I know. Oh, you're dead. Bye, Dad. No, you're not. But you don't notice anything. <laughs> Four misses against two hits, and then you don't notice anything strange about it. Although you do know that he's a he's one of you, so that's all you know. So, are you gonna try to follow him as he's walking off? I'm trying to figure out what it was all about. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Agent fight. <laughs> Agent fight. Agent fight. <laughs> spy versus spy. I'm ready. I was born ready. Now, which one is the one with the black overcoat, and which one is the one with the white overcoat from Spy vs. Spy, if you ever watched that? I have. Oh, Mad? Yeah, I'm Mad. Or if you write it in the Mad magazines back in the day, when it was a magazine. I didn't read it either. It was basically like a comedy thing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it was... It parodied everything. Oh, here we go. Coming through. This All right. Little map. So, she's following the Spy. Ugh. Although she doesn't know what he did. He did something, though. Mm. He touched her in an inappropriate way. <laughs> what That's it? not part of the job. <laughs> <laughs> so he notices you and says, What do you want? I'm wondering why I'm you said... Why ask him? Oh, well, I... <laughs> Is... No, go ahead. Keep going. I'm wondering why you said that. Said what? Mm -hmm. The keeper sends his regards. Who's the keeper? <laughs> and he starts to walk off. Ooh. Right now. You're being burned. Ooh. Pull your gun. You're gonna get a burn notice. You should pull your gun and be like, stop. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Burn notice? Yeah. No. Okay, it's terminology in the spy world for when your organization like cuts you loose without any information. They just like dumped you on the they side of the road. You, yeah. you no longer get assistance from them, no longer get resources, you're considered blacklisted, they won't recognize you, you get no help from them. Yeah. You're basically getting treated like Caleb with his ex. They just aborted you with the fetus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, I know. 
So in game, he said that I was getting. No, no, no. He's just saying who's the keeper, and then he walks off. And he gets into his ship and starts to get ready Good to fly. Good stuff. You gonna try to stop him? One of these Shoot. things is not like. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him, Lizzie. Shoot him. I try to figure it out still. I go up to this thing. Mm -hmm. I put a gun to him and say, I know you said the keeper sends his regards. I know what you said. Now, what does that mean? Uh, coercion? You know I... Yeah, that'd be a coercion. Uh, so give me... You know I am on the Imperial side. Two green, two so purple. <laughs> tell me what's going on here. I really hope she wins this roll. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to win this roll. Win this roll. Please win. Two one. Two hits. She got one hit, and just yeah, one hit. Look, I'm just following orders. We were told that you are no longer one of us. By who? What? I'm still on the mission. The keeper says otherwise. <laughs> Well, fuck the keeper. <laughs> Maybe you should, you should try to talk to the keeper. And, uh, too bad he didn't notice what I planted. Because now we're out of time. Oh, what fuck. did you, you plant? See, oh, someone fuck. does or says some oh, weird shit, fuck. drop everything oh, immediately. Fuck. I did. Uh, you're fixing to drop a lot of things. <laughs> honey. A lot of things. Uh, you didn't drop everything because you didn't drop your pockets. He placed a, a thermal in your pocket. That's what that perception oh, was for. Honey, you are fixing to drop everything after it falls from the sky. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. So, and he literally when he says it's his thing, that's when it starts to go off. Which means he bo he dies with you. Ooh. Which is what he was not trying to do, which is why he was leaving. Ooh. I should have sprinted like hell. Please, so, please let her so survive. So I'm dead. <laughs> well, no, you, no. you could survive a thermal. It's it's harder, but you could. Caleb, okay, she needs to live, Caleb. I don't know to, to, to the end of the night. She needs to live. Well, I mean, we're, I mean that's the end of the battle. I mean, the next we're about to hit another chapter soon. You need to let her live. Why? I have plans. <laughs> 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 when he says that, you should be concerned. No, no, don't be concerned. Dude, this is my last game, and if this is the end of it... That's okay, you can come back and your character's still there. Better. I guarantee it. I'm a wizard, Harry, trust me. <laughs> what? She lives. Mm. Yes, yeah, she does. She might. Yeah. She... Come on, Kayla. Come on, Kayla. <laughs> I don't okay. care if I live or not because if I do live, y'all gonna have to kill me in the next one. No, we're not gonna kill you. <laughs> well, I'm he says in direct opposition. <laughs> <laughs> so, the explosion occurs, and he flies into the ship from the explosion, like heavily injured. Mm. Uh, you fly back heavily injured. Uh, I gotta get uh, some dice. But it was in her pocket, so her leg flowed off, right? Hold on. Just... She, like, crawls. <laughs> you can do this. Guys, if this is the end, I don't care about dying. <laughs> this we is do. the end. We do. We don't... Well, I don't want you to die. Why did you need not... another partnering <laughs> crime. <laughs> so, roll these two. But I want to die, guys. <laughs> No, you don't. Roll I want you to, for me. I want you to roll I medium. I want to die. Medium roll, rare here. Roll, roll those for me. Medium rare. <laughs> Look, in this situation, unless you get, like, a really high number, I'm pretty sure you die. Yeah, medium rare. <laughs> this is the end of the thing. I want to die. What'd she get? What's the percentage? Uh, she got a four and double zeros. So that's a 40, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Find 40 from the critical injuries. Are these all the same? Uh, they're different. They're, nope, other side. Flip them. Flip them. Flip them. Flip. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, find, let's see, don't. You need 40. Okay, this one. So you are 
you, you got the stinger. Uh, severity easy. Oh, yeah. So the that's your severity. So you, so if somebody wants to heal you, that's how difficult it is to heal you. <laughs> you are unconscious though. Oh, you're knocked out. I'm gonna start doing more critical that injuries like that. Does my guy know? Him? My guy, yeah. That's my boy. He's probably gonna get the confirmation <laughs> soon. Silent, yeah. <laughs> He's probably gonna get the confirmation soon. One more agent has to check in on it. Because oh. obviously the one who did it is dead. Oh. So it's gonna be a bit. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna make this fun for Silent Death. So. Okay. So, now we know one easy it's just an easy roll for a medic check. Oh yeah. I got that easy roll. We got a medic bag full of those easy rolls. But anyways, like easy bake ovens. We're gonna go ahead and cut to you guys. Okay. Because we've been wait, focused wait. on that now. You're cutting back to us. Yeah. You guys come out of hyperspace into the mall. Mm. Okay. So we're in the mall. All right. I the mall. Do with my dude. Let's go shopping, boys. No, uh, mall, not mall. Mall. M A U L. M A W. Oh, Maz. Like Dark Mall. And they were thinking M A L L, and yeah. he, it's M A W. Mall. I thought Mall is in a bear's kind of fucking mall. Here. <laughs> or like a Darth. <laughs> Darth Mall, because yeah. that's also. Huh. Now, Hooray for the English from. language. I wish you'd quit looking at me in that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really scary from the guy who's got to me. Who doesn't say a fucking word. <laughs> oh. And, uh, this is what it looks like for you guys. Oh, that's new. Oh. That's an interesting. Hmm. So it's kind of, you know, Ooh. dark. Swiggity swooty coming for that booty. Oh. Never been here before. <laughs> So I got an idea. Now that we've arrived, I'm gonna send out like one of those uh birds. Yeah, to make sure our shit doesn't run into anything dangerous. Oh yeah, because uh, that's gonna be easy to do in this mm -hmm. part of the galaxy. Make it like in front of us, that way in case they see something we can like stop. Yeah. Or if they get caught like in a black hole. <sighs> yeah. It's getting really hot with that on. Yeah. I would think so. Especially like right over my mouth so all that hot air is like filling it Just up. Just coming right back to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, science. Touching me all over my face. <laughs> Simple science. Simple science, yeah. All of a sudden you see Revan pull out of his pocket a compass. Ooh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a compass. Compass. Grenade. <laughs> <laughs> he explains. It's a relic. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, when you're done with it, you want to sell it? We might need it. Uh, we'll see if we need it more. Mm -mm. I just want to buy it. All right. We can discuss price after. You said it was a relic. Yes. When you get ready to sell it, let me know. We'll discuss price. Sweet. Okay, so. I'm all about making money, so. I'm uh, he, he, I've right never here. taken you as a character who said no to. Hmm? <laughs> when you said when you're ready to tell me to sell it, tell me. Did you have a blaster pressed to his dick? <laughs> no, no, no. No, yeah. I'm, that's me trying to make a deal. Like, Asen is he's really harsh to people that work for him. Like he doesn't give a shit about their life at all. But then, if he can make a dime, he is like your best friend because he wants your money badly. So Revan is using the compass to kind of show your pilot where you need to go. All right. Well, he's doing that. Pentelamon's like, so what do you do for fun around here? Fun. Yeah. Uh. Hey, uh, deckhand. Yes, sir. Do we have any prisoners? Oh, uh, let me check. No, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. All the uh, fun's gone. It's gonna get more. Okay. <laughs> Except for what, Josh? What? I didn't say anything. Oh, I thought you were saying there was somebody else that was a prisoner or something. Uh, <laughs> that I forgot about. I think, because I think most of your prisoners have been killed every time you've captured one. Yeah. Every time you capture one new prisoner, you can kill the rest. <laughs> but that's our fun. Hey, uh, do we have any more of those, uh, uh, what are the, what's, what's, what's the spice? Uh-huh. The spice? 
people. I'm sure we have plenty of spice, right? Yeah. But do we have any more of those? Uh, what's that sexy chick race? Oh, the Twi'leks? Oh, Wait, the one right? you're talking to right Yeah, now. he's a Twi'lek. Is, are you a chick? He's a guy. Oh, no. Do, but he's a Twi'lek. Do we have any Twi'lek chicks on board left? Like servants, maids? Out of game, would your character be slightly offended by that? He is, but he understands it. Since, like, Twi'leks are seen as this beautiful subservient race. Mm. <laughs> like, part of you, like, picks up your jacket Part of it is, is, like, I can blow up everyone in this <laughs> room right now. And the other part was, like, but, but I want the money. on the other hand... <laughs> but I want to live forever. And be rich. Also, I don't have anything better to do right do now. Yes. Yeah. We have some? Uh, so he'll, like... It's like, oh, okay. Uh, and... Is the uh, the uh, they're in the casino room, by the way? Oh, oh, well, let's uh, pull two of them from the casino room, and, uh, and by that I mean casino floor because right. it's an entire floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pull them from the casino and put them in the uh, jacuzzi room, and uh, I didn't draw that, you. You asshole! Quit <laughs> adding rooms that I didn't draw. <laughs> well, you know it's the bathroom, but it's heated baths. So, you know. It's a good thing that bathroom is a unisex bathroom. Yeah, but but kick, kick everybody out and uh, <laughs> send those two and then... Uh, but what if they gotta use the bathroom? I don't give a shit. <laughs> he's out. like, he, he just points and he's like, take it up with this guy. <laughs> and, kind, of funny, kind of funny you said it that way. <laughs> you don't give a shit if people use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, send, send those two sexy ones and then... Uh, and then escort uh, Mr. Silent Death there. Let him have a little uh, me time. Yes, sir. For fun. That's all. That's so all the fun I got. He goes ahead and like he if he comes anywhere like if he gets too close. He kind of just waves you. As if okay. He's guiding you. Yeah. He's not even armed. He's just like a <laughs> servant guy. That would be pretty bad. He kills servant. Just guy. immediately. Oh, he touched me. Time to die. I mean, but Hasten would be like. You should have known better than to touch <laughs> death. Hey, hey, show him the way and don't touch him. Jesus. <laughs> He'll go along. Yes. So, uh, so you're going to have some fun. And while he's leading you down, he's calling to get make sure that everything's prepared by the time you both get there. Who? Uh, the, oh, yeah, that's right. Say, I'm not going. I'm an android. No, no, no. You got to keep, you know, silent death happy. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll kill you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I want him to like me. <laughs> I like him. I want him to like me. <laughs> That's one hell of a first introduction. <laughs> I like you. I, want you I like, like you. Me. Here is two bitches in a hot tub. Have fun. <laughs> So. And if that's not enough fun, we got we'll put some credit on a card for him and go gamble all he wants. This is a great. And he won't business. lose because there's nobody else on the <laughs> ship other than your own people. That's right. You ever seen slot I would like telling the card dealer, make sure he wins. <laughs> <laughs> but he's only playing against me. <laughs> well, then he's gonna win. <laughs> he's gonna win, isn't he? <laughs> your job and life depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen yourself fall up in the airlock? I'll watch it if he doesn't win. <laughs> this is great. Uh, a crime lord <laughs> and expert in manner. Well, to you also that. have two assassin droids with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 10 A and B. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just like all the murders in the crime Oh, I'm sure they say more than that. So, by the way... <laughs> oh, so by the time he's gone, that's when you finally see that dead body from earlier. It appears in front of you. Oh, snap. And disintegrates. Sweet. Before your eyes. Actually, no. He missed it. that. He walked out. <laughs> Correction, that didn't happen then. It would have happened earlier. Yeah, well, it would have happened in hyperspace. Yeah. Which means you did get to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so Revan's like, well, we're almost there, I think. Um... Looks like, you see that planet there? And he points to like this small, like, <coughs> right next to a black hole. And he's like, there's a planet right there. Oh, is that where we need to go? Yes. Go there. Uh, he's like, but I do see a satellite near. Should we worry about that or just head to the planet? Then something out to check the satellite? Maybe check the linkage, see where it's communicating with? 
Well, I doubt it would be getting any signals out of the mall. It's hard to communicate from here. But it could be somebody in the mall. Yeah, but our worst concern would be pirates, which you're the exchange. True. And if we run into any trouble, we just kill them, right? <coughs> yeah, I'm down for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did diplomacy work? No. Well, murder. <laughs> <laughs> Did we run into something? Murder. <laughs> That's more of this. Yeah. Uh, Is that the exchange gosh. away? Yeah, I'm pretty much there. Except for your sake, because you're still living. We're going to get you, eventually. <laughs> Although you're injured. I yeah. can't promise you won't be murdered, but... <coughs> well, if I survive tonight, you can just murder me at the next round. Well, I'm going to try not to let you get murdered. Think y'all but... can murder me in the next round, because I know that's what you want to do. I don't want to. Silent Death wants to kill you, but <laughs> I don't want to. Well, what do you want to do? I'm going to... Soup you up, Scotty. What? He's gonna basically make you one of his henchmen. Well, I yeah, <laughs> sorta. Of, sort of. We gotta get you all healed up first, you know, with some extra android parts. <laughs> Probably lost a leg there. I am up for negotiation. I got, oh, I got, I got some money. <laughs> and then she always gets on her nerves, like you know, there's just your fun. <laughs> But, um... Uh, murder! Murder, man! Murder! <laughs> That's what the Twi'leks are for! Get your mind out of the gutter! I came yes. this close to being a Twi'lek in this game. That would have been... wonderful. But, um... I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah. So, eventually you guys just... land on the planet. It's a very beautiful planet, actually. Oh, wait, wait. But we were talking about the satellite. What? He chose to go over he just wants to ignore it. Yeah. Sure, you don't uh -huh. want to blow it up. Now? Okay, let's go. So it's a very beautiful planet. A lot mm -hmm. of uh, green foliage. The music's not matching. How happy of a place this is. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of green and blue and bright colors. Okay, cool. So what? Uh, what exactly are we looking for? I, I'm sure I'm asking Revan. Um. So for all I know, it's just somewhere on this planet. I know it's a pool and a font. Pool and a font. Okay, so I guess I'd probably send out a bunch of my henchmen that I have left to just look for a pool and a font. So you're... Scour the planet. Uh, Revan says that we, it might be best if we went with them. Yeah, we'll, we'll go, but like we'll, like, we'll go as a group, and then we'll send them like another group in another direction, or just in case. Should we let him keep relaxing for a bit before uh, we'll, we send him out? We'll, oh, I'll send the, uh, send the little... Oh, do picky guy to ask him if he wants to go or if he's too uh, too busy. All right. So what are you doing? Are you enjoying them or are you kind of just brooding with them? He's like, I don't know if I should or shouldn't because of they they don't technically do this all the time. The moral reasons. Uh, more of the morality. Of oh, he's a uh, more morality. You know. You might like one. He asks them if they're okay with it. If they're not, he's like, well, then I guess I'll just sit here and enjoy the view. Well, we get paid for it, so it's not so bad on that regard. Yes, but do you want to? <laughs> you don't want to. I never really thought of that before. <laughs> you never question. <laughs> you never question. He was like, you know how much money I make? <laughs> Who questions that? <laughs> I mean, I make enough to take care of my family, and that's what matters. I mean, if you've ever been to Narshida... That's really all that matters. <laughs> He's just like, and it's at this point that the uh, the helmsman comes back and he says, uh, "We've landed on the planet. If you're not, if you're ready to go, you can. If not, you can stay here." Talk to you guys later. And he gets up and he's like, "All right, what am I doing?" All right. Well, we're gonna. Uh, you're gonna meet with uh, Revenant. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, the helmsman was letting you know. The helmsman's <laughs> just like. Man, I pissed <laughs> off this guy. <laughs> he just like opens the peak and he's like, Oh, thank God, I have to look at his ass. <laughs> I just created a side quest. That was <laughs> the Twi'leks now. Because now it's like, I feel bad for them. Yeah. <laughs> they never thought to question their life. <laughs> they never questioned their morality. So now they're going to start questioning everything and they're going to be like, We want to follow him. I'm like, 
Okay. <laughs> Sitting there thinking, man, this bitch laid it on him. <laughs> you all walk out of the ship together then. And you, you, you get to see the beautiful foliage for the first time. Apparently it's a beautiful planet world. Yeah. <laughs> nice waterfall. It almost looks as good as me. This is nice, I guess. I don't really yeah. have anything to compare it to. <laughs> well, here, I will give you what it looks like. It's nice to get off the planet and not have someone like, shoot at you. Wow. What a mansion. Actually, he'd be like from like the unknown areas. Oh, I gotcha. A lot of snow planets and storm planets. <laughs> Drummond Costa is a storm planet, so you know, the capital of the empire is just raining all the time. I didn't know what planets could have nice weather. <laughs> It's all cold and wet. Stupid. What? What? But I'm not used to it. Stop it. Do you have a soundboard or something? Don't be upset. All weak people that exist to me. This is an Albert Wesker soundboard and out of oh. context. It's amazing. You did a fine job, Barry. Oh. <laughs> Barry. Barry. Chris, 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 Barry. <laughs> Chris, Chris, Jill, Enrico. Enrico? <laughs> Enrico? Okay, 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 so am I getting okay, paid yes, for this? Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Okay. Handsome. Join you two. And your men. Uh, if you want to pay them, we'll just give it all to you. <laughs> if you want to yes, pay disperse them. among my men. I need loyalty. Okay. okay. That is well, I can't find the gift. image I want. <laughs> He's like, loyalty is the greatest no! gift to a man. Anyways, I can't find a good picture of oh, Don't anyways. come this way, no. So yeah. Stay alert. Hmm? Suddenly, you hear a woman crying out from the distance. <laughs> Get your hands off me! For fuck's sake. Take out the knife, gonna start being sneaky. So do you all approach it? Uh, I'm being sneaky as shit about yeah. this. I'm, I look at Red and I'm like, you know, since uh, Silent Death just sneaked off, I think we should go to the front and uh, distract whoever that is. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. So <laughs> we don't know what his reaction will be. Exactly. So what is... Uh, so me and Raven walk up while he's sneaking. So you see your own men surrounding this woman. Okay. And one of them's like grabbing her by the wrist and she's just like, let go of me. Stop it. Let her go. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, my name's Abilith. I meet you. I'm Mason. <gasps> I've been stranded on this planet. I need some help. Okay. Right. I usually don't do favors, though. It'll cost you. But what do you need? Just a little of your time. Well, I know a lot about the planet, if that will be helpful. It would. We do need an escort. Okay, I think I can do that, uh, as long as you can provide a ride off this world. Oh, I got that covered. Thank you. I was wrongfully brought here. Who brought you here? Uh, my my ex. Your, what was his name? Or her name? He, mm, his name's not really that important, but he left me here. By the way, that's Silent Death. He looks and sees him, like, crouched he's in like, Skyrim. He's, <laughs> like, he's, like, he's like in Skyrim, he's just like... <laughs> can I come out now? <laughs> you can come out, everything's fine. Okay. This is like, I was so ready to murder this person if they were a threat. You know, because a screaming lady and who's calling for help is, you know, a threat. On a weird planet, in a weird section of space that he's been never trap. been before. He's got some logic cooking up there. Could have been a trap. He was ready to spring her trap. Well, I can only think of really two reasons of why anybody would come to this planet purposefully. And that is? Uh, the pool of knowledge in the fountain of uh, power. Wow. You caught us. 
Well, I can show you where they are. I've seen them. I haven't, I haven't used them myself, but I've seen them. Well, if you don't mind, take us there. Right, so Sorry about it. being ready to shank the fuck out of you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I can understand. Strange world. Strange people. Have you met anybody else here? Uh. Last time I saw anybody here was maybe a decade ago. How long have you been here? How many. What year is it? I guess we'll give her the current year. Yeah. About 15 years. I thought he was just like 1500. I was gonna be like, I love older women. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> In game, I think I'm like 15. You're, eight, you're 18. 18. Under 18. age. <laughs> you're 18. No, she's 18. She's barely legal. <laughs> In the game, I'm 18. Yeah. Yeah, because you joined. The military at 15. Okay. Remember, that's what we talked okay. about. Okay, yeah. Actually, 16, because 16 is when shifts become viewed as adults. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, so she kind of leads you through, and there's really no creatures or anything that are, like, attacking you, so it's very easy travel. Uh, Good for them. Well, the creatures. <laughs> Also for you guys. I mean, well, I mean they, they just, haven't seen this guy. Yeah. But I mean, it also just saves you time. Yeah. So, she manages to bring you both, uh, bring everybody to both points at different points. So, which one do you want to go to first? Um, go to the pool. Okay. You're going to go swimming. Yeah. So, she brings you to this pool. and it's, I don't know if Silo Death got wet enough. <laughs> and it's kind of this cave that it's in. Uh... And so she takes, and you can see, like, it's just kind of shallow, it's like a shallow pool, it's not too deep. It says, well, Legend says that you have to enter it, and Rowan says, yep, and jumps right in. What the fuck is huh. Revan? You might. This Revan jumped into the pool? Right, yeah. Yeah, Revan jumped into the pool that Abolith led you okay. got into. All right. I, I would wait and see if anything happens to him. <laughs> he, like, points to the knife, should I be ready? <laughs> Revan kind of just turns and says, hey guys, fine. Hmm. Actually, it feels kind of nice. Oh, okay. The water's nice, come on in. I don't see a point in Ace and getting in it. He's android, so he's like, yeah. Yeah. That's a sees no problems with this, so he leaves. Uh, and he also doesn't think, I don't think uh, the three guns and like four grenades are going to do much underwater, but he will take like the knife with him. So you get in? He's gonna yeah. put his equipment down. Alright, and after a few seconds, Rowan's like, so I think we should probably get out now. I don't think we were meant to just sit in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. It's got a pretty cool name. We should probably get out of it. <laughs> so he gets out. Okay. Do you we'll feel any different? Wet. Uh, <laughs> mm, yeah, I feel wet. But we'll, we'll see. Groovy. So, uh,. The pool was meant for immortality? It's the pool of knowledge, the final power. You have to combine them. Oh, and that gives you the immortality. Yep. According to the legend. Got to so the pool back. of knowledge, do you feel any smarter? I mean, I was already one of the greatest strategists of my time. I give you that. I don't know. I'm I just pretty cunning, but I don't think that's gonna... And, what it meant. and actually, give yourself a... Uh, go ahead and give up. Permanent boost to your uh, intellect. Actually, no. It would be cunning. It would be cunning, actually. Cause right. Damn, I'll get in this pool if it's going to give us a boost. So, <laughs> I mean, I was already pretty cunning. <laughs> so uh, it will go from two to three. My or, cunning's or at that. three. Oh, uh, three to four, then. Yeah, three to three. <laughs> Woo! Asim changed his mind. He's going swimming. <laughs> That's a little metagamey. I know. He wouldn't get in it. He has no point. He's like, they didn't die, but I'm not trusting this shit. <laughs> yeah, <that'll look> good. <laughs> uh, I'm a computer. That's water. Mm. Probably not the best. <laughs> I don't even well, take baths. Maybe. maybe hey, but computers and water cooling. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> maybe you can drink from it. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> are you being sarcastic? Or are you <laughs> serious? Yes, I'm being very sarcastic. I'm an android. I don't have to drink or eat. 
You take. You could take oil baths, though. I can take what? <laughs> oil baths. I do take oil baths. He probably He'll should load up his water cooler. <laughs> you should. You should probably oh, yeah. do that regularly. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, it's not. It's not good for an Android not to. Right. An Android not to. Yeah. now. You get the dirt in your. Okay. So I'll if, just keep it. If he walked into the pool and got plus one cunning, and the same thing happened for him, I guess canonically that would mean like. You just downloaded information from the water <laughs> right? pool. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it probably <laughs> wouldn't even work. work. It probably wouldn't even work, even if he got in it, right? Because yeah, he's an Android. Just yeah. get non-organic. Yeah, you would kind of just sit there and be like, "I feel nothing." <laughs> just rewire no, the camera. Slowly, that's what he's gonna do. The camera slowly zooms into the back of your robot head, and you hear just like, diddly, 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 and then it gets to you, and you're like, "This is just no, like, I don't feel any he different." Just dips his foot in. He's like, "I don't feel any different." Okay. <laughs> So anyway, so then he leads you. Sorry, Abolith leads you to the font of knowledge uh, power next. The fonts of knowledge power. No, power. <laughs> you you just got the knowledge. Now you need the power, and then when you get the power, then you're immortal. Yeah, gotta have the power. All right. So what's it? What do we see? What's it look like? So uh, first, I need to remember what a definition of a font. Jump off this cliff. <laughs> Uh, a font is like a fountain or a geyser or a water yes. source. Okay, so it's another pool, probably. It's however you want to describe it, really. <coughs> it's, it's water related. Okay. Make it a waterfall. Yeah, it will be a waterfall then. So you see this nice waterfall. With like a cave behind it. Maybe it's even the cave that you just left. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a different cave. Man, that would make this way no, no. The waterfall is not it. What is the cave behind the waterfall has a small little fountain. Oh, yeah, that's... Like it's that. a font within a font. It's fontception. <laughs> oh. We're Bring that one back. <laughs> so, yeah, you enter the fontception. Boom. <laughs> Abelith yeah, says, almost. Uh, the next part is supposedly to drink from the font. Oh. Okay. And Revan immediately, of course, wanting the power. But the lame one's like, why not? I've already done, like, everything else today. <laughs> just by the way, kills <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Gonna drink, glug, glug. I mean, Beow. I serve the emperor directly now. <laughs> you don't know that. I don't know that. <laughs> just but it's gonna happen. Oh my goodness! Out of game. I, I know you're not gonna do this, even though I'm gonna jokingly don't say it. Me out. What if he? What if Revan drank it first, and you just watched, and you were like, "All right, let's see if it works." <laughs> <laughs> I think there'd be more intrigue. Oh, if you this is bad. Revelations. This is real. Do you bad. want to test that theory? Why? This is really bad. Why? You just made a young Revan do all of that. Yeah. Is it gonna carry over to old Revan drinking the well, water? Well, why do you think Revan's do young Revan is doing it? He's he thinks that he's already supposed to become immortal because he knows that he's the emperor. He put two and two together already. So now he's trying to figure out, okay, well, how did I do it? Oh, well, it works for good for me. Business partner. There we are. That's why he's doing it. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, well, I guess this could be one option. And if it doesn't work, then he'll just try to figure something else out. Mm -hmm. Well, either way, even yeah. if it doesn't work for Old Reverend, the one that just did it is still... Yeah, because who's to say this is the same path that the Old original Reverend took? took? Yeah. Because time travel is confusing. <laughs> Wibble dee wobble dee. What time travel is? Yeah. Isn't that called the forbidden fruit of like series time travel is? It depends on the movie, kind of theoretical time yeah. version. There's like Terminator, Time Logic. There's uh, Marty McFly, Back to the Future, Time Logic. Yeah. In the case of you Star Wars, your continual Time Logic, branching paths, Time Logic. In the case of Star Wars, it's continual in that whatever. If you were meant to time travel, you're going to time travel type of <coughs> format. Oh, yeah. So, he was meant to time travel, therefore he has. Okay. He is always meant to time travel, and if he doesn't, then that destroys Which everything. Which kind of implies a predeterminism about the Star Wars universe. Yeah, prophecies or anything, you know. <laughs> you know that in the future he has time traveled and is in the past as an older self, right? Uh, or did young him travel? Young him traveled currently... Old him is our it's present day for old him. So yeah, I mean he's practically immortal in the sense that like he can't die because he knows he's gonna get old and be around. That's why that's why he's doing all this because he's like, oh, 
old me is around 300 years after I should have died. How did I do this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So. Yeah, but despite that, I'm immortal in the sense in that in this in this predeterministic universe, nothing can happen to him because then he wouldn't have succeeded to get old. Thus, he wouldn't be yeah. there. But I think in this case we can bend it a little bit. If something is to happen to him, then I have a backup anyway. So what? So you're happen. talking branching paths. You're talking for me, back to for the me future. personally. But in from what we've seen so far of the canonized version of the time traveler. It is very much been determinism. Yeah. Okay, so you're on the Terminator track. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> bouncing around a little bit. Yeah. But we know he time traveled since he's warped on our ship, right? Yeah, you know he has. Because, well, I mean, like, because yeah. he was yeah. asking the years. Yeah, because obviously he was like, What time is it? Where am I? Doc Brown, everything. <laughs> so, anyways. Damn, I should have got him to teach me the time travel. <laughs> well, you need the force. I could get somebody with the. Okay, so he drank from the fountain. Okay, yeah. So you got to drink from because the he's not going to be up with for the idea I just had. <laughs> so he finished it and he says, "All right, well, if I guess we'll see if it takes effect." Uh, sure. You want to test that theory? Wait, and then he just fucking no. runs <laughs> to the goddamn fountain. <laughs> Does he have the force? I don't Damn. recall if that yeah. was ever like a debate. He drinks the not. water it's and then he polymorphs into another fountain. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we should make our our end of the bargain good for this young lady. And we fine. should. Let's we go will. ahead and make our way off. We definitely will. Uh, worst case scenario, um, we'll bring her back if it doesn't work. Mm. Well, we know what they are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it doesn't work, we just bring her back. <laughs> All right, so you guys make your way back to the ship then? Mm-hmm. Yep. I pull it. <coughs> while everybody's entering the ship, I'll pull the helm and to the side. Tell him, give her the good stuff. It's got to be a bit before he can do that, because obviously he's got to get everybody. I'm assuming you're waiting until everybody's separated, or do you want him to do it right in front of everybody? No, no. I want him to sneakily do it. Okay, yeah. so it's going to be a So bit he, you're going to kill her? Mm-mm. No, I never no. said that. Just put her in the airlock. Just put her in the airlock. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how you explain that to her. Can you, excuse me, can you follow me? I just need you to step into that airlock. No, 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 that's why she's getting the special treatment. Carefully. So, Carefully. he's actually going to wait a bit, and you guys are going to make your way onto the bridge all together. Yeah, no, we need to get the ship up in there, yeah. yeah. So, the air, so the ship starts to take off, and once you guys are kind of in the atmosphere, Abolith kind of looks at you guys and says, well, thank you. You guys were so kind to me. I don't know how to repay you. Oh, don't worry about it. You showed us the stuff that we needed. Good. Suddenly she transforms. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> Should have done it immediately. <laughs> oh! You're going to give her the special treatment. Well, Who is I'm that? still giving her the special <laughs> treatment. I should have stabbed like, her from the start. You should be like, Helmsman, move up my schedule. <laughs> 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 uh, and before you guys can do anything, she snaps her fingers, and the ship go starts to rock, and then she disappears. Shit. Who was the that character? The fuck was that? Are you are you just saying that in general? <laughs> He's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah I didn't kind of signed it. <laughs> He's just looking around. And... I have no clue. Revan says, <laughs> "Well, let's fix it." Suddenly the. Uh, that satellite yeah, you guys are trapped on this fires at you guys and hits your engines. Get maintenance over there, quick. <laughs> so the helmsman <laughs> salutes and <laughs> makes his way to <laughs> fix it. Clacks on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go Damn, look for any. And done. all you hear is you you hear her laughing and and she says, "This is my gift to you for freeing me, Abolith." Destroyer of Worlds. Yeah, I should have known from the name. Oh, you know about Abolith in the Expanded Universe? I know a bit about that image and who it's of. I did not expect that. <laughs> Out of game. Is she giving us a like an actual gift? or is the, the, I gift is that, <laughs> the gift is that she doesn't kill you. Sorry. I could have took her to New Worlds to this store. Mm. Okay. My gift to Mine's you is that you will all be the last to die. <laughs> and then she leaves. Completely. 
Mm. Bad girl, go. Damn. Great slave. <laughs> uh, Revan is like scrolling through the pa the pages of that book that he had found the map in and your research stuff, and he's just like trying to find anything about Avalith. <laughs> Pentalemon's going in throughout the ship and he's just looking for weird things that are out of place that shouldn't be there. <laughs> that aren't like crime things, because this is obvious. Actually, a correction, she's the bringer of chaos. <laughs> I think she brought the chaos. Yeah, she brought the chaos. Yeah. I would have she preferred to control the bringer of the chaos. <laughs> she lived up to her title, I guess. I could have used her well. I think she used you. She did. <laughs> Slut. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get her. Oh, I'm gonna, get her. I'm gonna show her chaos. Get a good enough roll. I'm gonna call down to my science department. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so can you give me two yellow and three purple for uh, Revan searching through the archives? And, <laughs> and yellow and three. Oh, well, that, that's enough. There <laughs> you go. Go ahead, just roll it. Okay. You're rolling for Revan now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you just double try him. Yeah, he should be able to find something. Yeah. <coughs> Avalith. Okay. Found it. Trapped in the mall. <laughs> no, guys, I got this. Underwater sea monster. Ancient before the gods. No, wait. This is the fantasy section. <laughs> um, see, Breeder of Chaos, it says. Hmm. Um... And then it mentions one of the long-lived force wielders. She was trapped there after trapped there after getting into the pool and drinking from the. But Apparently, it did give her immortality, but it also made her what she is. After the four turning into the squid monsters, I was already slightly squidish. <laughs> Oh no, that's gone. So you guys are gonna become gods? It also made her mad. <laughs> He's like, God, where's B9 when you need it? <laughs> so, I have a feeling she didn't let us actually drink. Oh, like that was, was an fake. illusion. It was a head yeah. trap. It was all fake. I think, I think that was fake. But the pool, I think, was real. We should probably not look for the font, though. Probably a good call. Because I think if once... If we take the font, you'll become just like her. Yeah, or she'll assail you. Yeah, we should probably not test that one. Well, good news is she probably won't be returning here. This was her prison. True. Uh, in fact, we were just shot by her prison by her overwatchers. Mm -hmm. Probably let them know she's gone at us again. Probably we'll release idea. her exactly. <laughs> well, took her off the planet. Once she was off the planet, she could use her powers to leave. And go anywhere. Fucking teleporter! Freedom. Yeah, because she can teleport and all that. She just needed enough energy to do so. And she needed to be off-world. Because that's, that's where her prison is. We did a bad. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much... Like, he just signs that to me and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I bet... Is that oh, that was yeah. a trap! <laughs> it's like, whoops. Yeah, they pretty much released... Whoopsie! Um, an evil goddess upon the world. Toto is a trap. <laughs> and yet you... Technically, the immortality stuff was not a trap. It was who it was, was there that was a trap. So Although, I guess the immortality was also a trap, because so if they did both correctly, they'd end up like her. A trap. No, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that, too. A little late for that now, ain't it? It's our trap. Well, that's a good thing you didn't sleep well. He says to the guy who was so ready to murder. <laughs> I think if he tried to stab her, all of you would have just been dead. Yeah. She you couldn't one. use her power on the planet. She could use her other abilities, but like she anything just and stuff like that would have been... Yeah. Should have drugged that bitch at the beginning. Damn it. She knew you were there. Huh? As soon as you landed, she knew you yeah. were there. Uh, I mean, I could have drugged her before we got on the ship, though. Could have drugged That's alright. Next time you guys find a random bitch on a little planet <laughs> by herself, you'll know better. <laughs> you'll know not to trust me. Yeah, I'm going to silent death her is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna sound like death to everybody. I you mean, now. fix that problem. <laughs> hey, at least she has a million dollars. Kill that idiot. At least she hasn't started looking like this yet. Well, true. Oh God, this was more than we bargained for. Don't worry, she won't look like that for another three thousand years. Oh good. So I don't really have to worry about her. Uh, I mean, met again, out again. I mean, you guys can kind of fix the thing you created by helping try to re-imprison her. Or you could just ignore the problem. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna tell the people that own that satellite and let them deal with it because uh, this ain't making any no money. At this point, as you finish letting them know, uh, and they're killings that are, you're talking to, and they kind of quick and they're like, "What the fuck are you talking about? You let her off." Well, we had no idea who she was. Yeah, they should have fucking stopped. Hey, us. you might have could have stopped me before we hit the planet. But she didn't, so it's your problem. Yeah, they didn't do that fucking job. <laughs> By the way, we're going back to the planet. Uh, no you're not. If you try, we will shoot you down. Should've done that the first time. With that little rink dink satellite? I'm fixing to blow it up. Uh, and a as you're finishing that conversation, this guy pops up. Oh, he looks... In your ship. He just oh, he's in the ship? Yeah, he just jumps into your ship. Okay. Who well, are you? Thank you for freeing my mother. Your mother. And by that, I mean, no thank you. You're welcome. I don't think you he likes are us. all fools for freeing her. We didn't know who she was. Well, in this case, ignorance was not bliss. No, it's not. I made no money on this trip. And now you've doomed the galaxy. Oh, I'm not too much. Oh, that's kind of a bad thing. I can't sell anything without a galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run some numbers. <laughs> and the numbers Let me see what kind of losses are acceptable. <laughs> you, just go to the, you can just go all the way down to the bottom of your profit margin and you're like... <laughs> we made zero. <laughs> what? There's nobody left to buy this spice. Uh, and by the way, he sounds a little bit like Sam Witwer. So, oh, of course he does. Yeah, because he was voiced by Sam Witwer in the show. So, imagine Sam Wh a much more talented voice actor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, are you going to catch your mother? Is that really your mother? Yes. Well, it's complicated. Oh, I'm sure it is. I would hate to tell people I come out of a squid. She was immortal like you. Immortal like me? Immortal. I, oh, immortal. I'm not immortal. Oh, well, immortal like you. He turns to the tweet like that. <laughs> Did that actually work? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> she was. She served my father, and my sister and I. Oh, she was your bitch. Until, well, one day she helped resolve a few fights. Well, for a few days she would resolve fights between my sister and I. Oh, so you grew to like her. Sibling rivalry. You could say that. Extreme addition. What happened though? Why'd she become like this? Or how? Should I ask? Well, it seems you already know the answer. He points to the book. Oh, I just wanted to make sure. There was another secret. Damn it. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the font is like filled with drugs. <laughs> Damn it. PC <laughs> like a lot off this drug. <laughs> so, uh, I'm either. guessing you're the person in charge of this whole prison deal? Uh, well, myself and my father and my sister. We brought her here after we realized what she had become. Is that your satellite thing? One of them. Can I go back to the planet? Only if you choose to help us. I don't want to go back to the planet so bad. Because we can build a water pump and take the pond water. You can at least make people smart. Exactly. And if you find the real font, you can still make people drink it. You just can't let people do both. Sell them separately. <laughs> we can still make money. He says right next to this. Are you saying this? No, 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 I was just this one. Okay, this is all meta? Yeah. Okay, go ahead then. Uh, so, think it out, I guess. Or are you gonna agree? I'll help you. But only if I can stay on the planet for a little while. Make it quickly. There isn't much time before my mother causes more problems. Okay, how do we contact you? Or will you contact us? I will find you. Planet, but okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh... And he disappears. Okay, so I'm gonna, like, ring down to the science department, like, Hey, I need you to empty the bath. One of my private bathroom. Uh, yes, sir. 
and I want you to make a pump. And when we land, I want you to pump out that pond and into my bath. How big is this goddamn bath? Pretty big. I mean, just enough to fill up the bathtub would be yeah. enough, I guess. That's enough for you to sit in. Yeah, you just gotta be able to sit in it. Oh, yeah. okay. And, uh... Cause you don't... The, the pond... The, the pool, you don't drink. The font, you drink. Oh. Yeah. So, while... Okay, I'm gonna tell them that. Mm. And then... Uh, get another crew to start making some containers with lids. And Revan overhears all this and he says, do you really think it wise to mess with this beyond what we have? But as long as you don't drink it, you'll be fine. But if I sell them separately, we don't have to worry about creating another one of these monsters. What's to stop some dumbass from doing both? Because I would have control of both. One's in my private bath. That's going to cost a lot of money to lay in my private bath. <laughs> <sighs> Caleb's like, now i got to sit here and add up how much he's more money he's going to fucking make. <laughs> Enough to fix you, my dear. <laughs> I'll try not to let him kill you. <laughs> hey, Silent Death, could you cool him on the murder breaks? Right. Death is in my name. <laughs> Are we going to go back to the... Planet and do yeah, that. You, yeah. You're, you're just gonna do that off screen. Yeah, or? we're gonna assume you get there, because the Killix will know that the sun told them, told that basically the sun told them you're good to go. Yeah. Back to dealing with the other members. So are of they? Uh, I guess when we come back, I'll be looking for the farm. Yeah, because you gotta find it. Because yeah. she didn't lead you she to didn't it. Lead us to the real one. And I'm like, let's get across the double now. Hey everyone, thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed what you just saw, be sure to give us a like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't want to miss any of our content, be sure to hit the bell icon where you will be notified anytime we upload a video. Also, if you wish to watch RPG Workshop live, you can follow Studio Bastion on Twitch. There you can also enjoy his gameplay live streams and other podcasts that are in production. Also, if you like what we're doing here at Escape Reality Films, be sure to check out our Patreon and support us, and get some cool rewards in return.